time has come again. He has awakened. Everyone thought he was gone, forgotten. And many said this was a good thing. But the chosen one from the prophecy lives. He will come. The alpacas will bow before him. And nothing will ever, ever be the same. for love leads you to the strangest places oh, and most of them are pitch black damp and gloomy <laughs> first things first time to put some light on the subject what is this place Seems to be some kind of high-tech laboratory. Was I abducted? And most important, by whom? Well, that did something. Did they experiment on me? And most important, who is they? I feel like I've been sleeping for ages. Must have been one hell of a night. Oh, everything's blurry. But it's a brand new day. And today the sun is shining for one man. <laughs> and one man only. Larry Laffer. But then again, maybe not. Did I sleep all day? Not a problem. That means it's another hot night for... Larry Laffer! Hey! What the hell was that? Looks like the elevator's dead. Ah, looks like it's out of juice. As opposed to yours truly. Huh. This looks a little different than I remember. That shoe has seen better days, but the shoelaces are still okay. Short and thin, like my pencil. mega hot guy comes up to me and I was like hey uh, <coughs> you don't have to talk about me in the third person baby and then I took a closer look at him and think hello those clothes are like so not hey wait a minute Ugh, some guy keeps talking to me I'll call you back later 
What's a woman like you doing in a place like Lafty's? Well, the reviews sure didn't get me here. The joint only has like 23 fans on Instacrap and a half star on Gulp. OMG, mega downer. But it's supposed to be the city's hot insider tip after next. At least it's also totally retro and vintage and stuff. Look at this filth. It really looks real. The Salon de Lazard is nothing compared to this. I'm Becky Butter, but I'm sure you already knew that. You look like one of my typical followers. I-I-I wasn't following you, uh, honestly. Mm. I'm Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer? Hmm. Hey, my community is fading. My channel could really use some likes or I'm gonna lose traction. Community? Do you live in a commune? Or don't you use Instacrap? I mean, you are more the first book conspiracy theory generation, aren't you? <laughs> and what's your score on Timber? I mean, you're about like, I don't know, maybe 50 years too old? But I heard that there are a few seniors using it. But they're more with the whole, like, far shit or elite farter kind of thing. All I ever find there are, like, these totally superficial braggarts. Great profile photo, but absolutely no character. I get around a lot, and it shows. Next year, I'm going to the Scorching Dude Festival because everyone's so open there. And they're supposed to be serving a brand new craft beer here. Home-brewed, totally analog, like by hand and all. Great for a selfie. Hey! I can get you one of those draft beers. Craft beer. Or one of those. And if they have any, like, really spicy versions, then that's what I want. You know, like pumpkin spice or lemon cobra or something. Oh, <laughs> and, and sure. Hands off. That's where my barbarian brew comes from. Only professionals like me are allowed to tap that. Scratching chewing gum off the bar. The second most wonderful thing in the world. That's fine just the way it is. What'll it be? What the... What? Larry? Is it really you? Yep, still the one and only. It is you. I haven't seen you in ages. And you haven't aged a day. You know, somehow, you look even better than before. Not as chubby. We wondered where you'd gotten to. Some said you'd retired to an exotic island somewhere. Others thought you had entered a monastery. And some said you were dead. I've never even been to a monastery. Then you'll be happy to know this still isn't one. But seriously, Larry, what happened to you? Well, I was on a date with... Uh, what was her name? At any rate, we went to her place. Or to mine, or... Uh, to a hotel? Uh, and then... Now, I'm not saying it was aliens, but... It was aliens. Oh, I don't even want to know what they did to your orifices. Just between you and me, uh, I don't know if we had sex or not. Just between you and me? Between the two of us, you still look like a virgin. Let's just say the handcuffs on the bedstead were, uh, well, pretty tight. I do the same thing. Helps against sleepwalking. I have no idea what happened. Don't worry, Larry. No one knows what's going on anymore. The world's gotten confusing. Yeah, something's wrong here. I've never seen a glowing box like that before. Wait a minute. Larry, you do realize you've been gone a long time, don't you? What do you mean? You completely dropped off the radar. Like for years. Now, what are you saying? Oh, 
You mean it's already 1990? <laughs> or even 2000? Is the glowing box a remote control for a jetpack? Are we on Mars? Well, see, it's... Come closer. Really? Really? Okay. I'm in the 21st century. Many of the people I knew are dead. Everything has changed. I don't know this world. But hey, who cares? I still have my good looks, my unparalleled charisma, <laughs> and the biggest... Uh, this is a family establishment. Smile in town. Uh, something I could do for you, Larry? Well... I'd like two beers, please. One for Becky? Fine. She's one of those damned hipsters flooding the city these days. Calls herself an influencer. Ha! I used to put a sign outside saying we serve beer. Nowadays, I have to make sure that one of them influencers posts a photo of it on Insta crap. Insta... Uh, okay. Here you go. Two barbarian brews. Brewed with a lot of love. Although the health department just doesn't seem to appreciate that. Uh, eh, put it on my tab. Good thing I still have yours from 1987. Uh, Larry, tell me. Did you just put those two beers in your jacket? Sure. That's what I always do. With everything. Isn't that allowed anymore? <sighs> Never mind. So what I miss in Lost Wages? Lost Wages? Larry, you're in new Lost Wages. Huh. You must have really hit your head. What about the jetpacks? They all blew up. Too bad. Did they have sex robots now? No. Nowadays, we take pills to have an orgasm. What? I... <laughs> Easy, Larry, easy. I'm just kidding. Even in the 21st century, we still have sex. Uh, no robots yet, though. What else can you tell me about this new world? The space shuttle and the Concorde are history now. See you later, Lefty. I got your barbarian brew. Oh, that took you long enough. I had 12 new matches on timber in that time. Cheers! Wait, I have to take some pictures first. Right, so cheers? Wait! I still have to film the video story? And that even though it smells strange. When drinking, make sure that your lip gloss is freshly applied. Otherwise, it won't leave any of those super cute marks on the glass. Because they're great for your... And you can't even see through the beer. It's so dark. You have to be careful with your selfies. It's a challenge, making sure it doesn't block you in the shot. But people, I know you can do it. And if you like the video, click on like and fave and thumbs and star and heart and push down there and leave a comment. But only if you like it. And share the video on Instacrap on Farcebook. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, cheers? Cheers!
Hmm, not bad at all. <sighs> I think uh, I'm gonna be sick. Wait, I want to film you getting sick. Hashtag fail. You girls in the future seem to have stomachs made of steel. Or you're all robots and sexy robots. And <laughs> my prayers have been answered. Oh, I'm just going to the bathroom, baby. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Oh, boy. This is gonna be close. <laughs> Lefty! Watch out! Oh, there's gonna be a real disaster if you don't give me the bathroom key right now! I need that damn bathroom key right now! Oh, okay. Here, be my guest. Oh, the key broke. But at least it broke after it unlocked the lock. What is that? Am I hallucinating? There's something in that crud. I did that without an engineering degree. Okay, very carefully now. There's one of those glowing boxes in there. Motion alert! Motion alert! Yikes! Face, not recognized. Fingerprint, not recognized. Smell, not recognized. Identification required. My name is Larry. Mm -hmm. Larry Laffer? Voice, not recognized. Room, not recognized. Location, not recognized. Explain! Explain! I cleaned off all the crud. A little gratitude would be in order? Assistance confirmed. Lodging security protocol. Return me to headquarters immediately. Violation will be prosecuted. Okay. What kind of thing are you anyway? This information is only available to authorized personnel. You are not authorized personnel. I may not be motorized. But, baby, I am authorized. And there's no need to be so formal. Name and employee number? Larry Laffer. Number, uh, three? Assistance confirmed. Return to headquarters immediately. Huh? Headquarters? Prune Incorporated. Prune? Just what's that supposed to be? Prune Incorporated is a hardware and software company known for its revolutionary Python. That's me and a wide range of apps such as Timber, the most modern and open dating software ever. The Prune headquarters are located in New Lost Wages. And you want to go back? Geolocation not possible. Please specify current location. The best bar in town. Please provide exact address. If you don't know which is the best bar in town, well, <laughs> there's nothing I can do to help you. Security alert. Initiating self-destruct. Five, four, three. Easy, easy, jeez. You're touchy. That was a joke. Self-destruct suspended. Please indicate current location. No. Two. Lefties. 
Self-destruct suspended. Lefties located. An UNTA has been ordered. UNTA what? Your UNTA vehicle will arrive outside in 24 seconds. Please get in the vehicle. Okay. Now, I'm curious. Glowing box! Yes? Why are taxis now called Unter? Huh? And why doesn't it have a taxi sign? Searching. Taxi. Information found. Taxis are an ancient means of transportation replaced by ultra-modern Unta vehicles. Unta is a subsidiary company of Prune Incorporated. What's your name, anyway? I don't have a name. Uh, everybody's got a name. You can pick one for me. Oh, then... Madonna. Selection saved. Can you tell me more about what happened over the last few decades? I don't have to tell you. I can show you. Shall I do that? Please. Launching video retrospective. Huh, good old Ronald. I wonder whatever happened to him. Oh. Oh my. the driver where to go? He already knows. How? I told him. You didn't even talk to him. I sent it to his smartphone. Smart what? His glowing box. Oh, okay. Yeah. What? It's magic, right? No, we will soon reach our destination. Damn, I don't have any money to pay for the ride. It's already been paid for. Did you send it to his smartphone? Exactly. <laughs> Come on, be honest. It's magic. Uh. What building is this? The headquarters of Prune Incorporated. Huh. I was able to figure that much out. You do realize this thing looks more like a pink. BJ designed the building himself, and he takes criticism very personally. Please avoid that. <laughs> BJ. BJ. Bill Jobs, the CEO of Prune. My inventor, my lord and master, the center of my universe, the brightest star in the technological sky, the most intelligent man in the... You're a fan. <laughs> I get it. Take me to him. Quick, and no one else is allowed to see me. I'm a top secret prototype. Relax, you're in a pile of crudded lefties. That's not exactly top secret. I don't even know how I got there. Baby, believe me, I know exactly how you feel. Where do you want me to take you? Up to the Skyloft. That's where BJ's office is. That's still good. Hello, could you... Oh yeah, and then? I stripped her completely. Oh, and then? 
Then I pulled out the pole. Oh, oh, and then? And then I lowered her onto the pole slowly. Very slowly. Oh. I had to grab her with both hands and push deeper and deeper. Oh, man, I hope I can afford an expensive sound system like that someday. And then? Then I have... Wait a minute. Who are you? Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer? Uh, I've got this thing here that keeps yakking at me. I, it wanted to come here. What kind of thing? Wait a minute. I told you that no one is... This. Allowed to see me. Is that a... That's... <gasps> the, the new model? The secret prototype. It's wonderful. Thanks for nothing. And now put me away again before the drool lands on me. Ugh. Oh, too late. Where? Uh, where did you... How? Ah, I found it in a pile of crud. But how did it get there? Now shut up. Tell him to take me to the executive suite. And don't tell anyone. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Quick. Um, uh, th th there's the elevator back there. Uh, here. Here's a single-use access card. And put the prototype away. This is a catastrophe. How could this happen? We're still investigating, but we received the distress signal and the prototype is on its way here. Who has it? Unknown. I want to know who's responsible. I'll fire them. I'll sue them for damages. BJ. And if it ever happens again, I'm going to close this whole place down. BJ. What? Take it easy. The prototype is on its way here. We have everything ready for the presentation. All that's left is to clarify the final technical details. We're on track. Ah, you're right. I should focus on that. Do you have the prototype? Hi, I'm Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer? Hello, Larry. I'm Faith. And this, as I'm sure you know, is BJ. Now give me the prototype. Oh, Faith. It's a pleasure to meet you, Larry. It'd be my pleasure to see you finally pull that thing out. Uh, okay, but I have to warn you. It's pretty big. No, I'm not. I'm the thinnest model ever. Oh, you mean the gadget that won't shut up? What is the blabbermouth thing, anyway? That's a Pi phone. Don't you have one? No. Why would I need a gadget that keeps pestering me all the time? Well, it's a cell phone, a music player, a revolutionary communication device. You understand? It's not three devices, it's one device. So it's schizophrenic, too? Someday, I will kill each and every one of you. What? Nothing. Can I, uh, trade this thing for a date with you? Ha <laughs> ha. Very funny. Wait a minute. You're serious. Who's this guy again? You don't know him. No. <laughs> what rock have you been living under? Uh, under the street, actually. Well... This is Bill Jobs, the legendary founder and CEO of Prune, Incorporated. And a genius. And of course, a genius. So, how about a date? Well, um, you look like... like... Don't. Don't say a word. <laughs> I'm well aware of my charisma, and you're, uh, <laughs> just a woman. That must be it. Could you finally put me out of my misery? Ah, thank you. Back in trusted hands at last. We have to check out the prototype. Our chief engineer has to recalibrate it. And if that ever happens to me again, there will be consequences. So, about our date. 
You certainly are persistent. I'll just take that as a yes. Larry, I don't have time for dates, so I just hook up through Timber. Timber? The dating app we're developing here at Prune. The app that revolutionized everyone's love life. Oh, that. <laughs> right. Great app. Bought two of them right away. And don't take it personally, but I don't think your profile there has enough points. I don't accept any contacts with less than 90 points. What a coincidence. I have 90. There are only four men with more than 90 points, and I know them all. Anyway, you've earned a finder's fee, Larry. Here, a voucher for a Pi phone. You can cash it right downstairs in the store. Then you can install Timber. And when I get 90 points, you'll go out with me? Of course, Larry. 90 Timber points should be a breeze for a guy like you. Don't go anywhere. This won't take long. Where did they dig up that pathetic loser? What's that box for? He doesn't know what it is. <laughs> That's virtual reality. Oh, you mean like cyberspace? The what? Must be something from the 80s. Anyway, you can just take a pair of glasses. Every customer gets one for free. Thanks. Oh, the box fell apart. All I did was pick it up. Can I have another one? Can't you read? Only one set per customer. Can I exchange the broken set for a new one? Unfortunately, I can't do that due to the signs of wear. However, I can offer to have them repaired for you for the one-time low price of $299.99. To avoid further damage, I can foist, <clears throat> I mean, sell you an insurance policy for your device for the bargain price of only $19.99 per month. Duration 96 months, non-transferable. However, the insurance does not apply in the following cases. Water damage, fall damage, software damage, contact damage, damage through use, or any other damage caused by day-to-day -day use of the device. And volcanic eruptions. Okay, I'll think about it. He looks like his thoughts are somewhere else. I have a voucher for one of those things. Uh, let me see it. Oh, yeah, looks good. Give him one. Here, a brand new Pi phone. Thanks. Even if I did hear that a new model is going to be released very soon. <laughs> So, how do I turn it on? Uh, hold the button down. Okay. Welcome to your new Pi phone. Thank you for choosing a prune product. You're welcome, baby. So, uh, how are things? Please state your name. Larry Laffer. Registering Larry Laffer. Setup complete. What do I need one for? For everything. <laughs> What do you mean for everything? Uh, you really were born yesterday, weren't you? Uh, well, is there a woman inside this thing too? Uh oh, there's a a lot of women in there. If you want. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, this thing must have kilobytes of memory. Okay, uh, then show me how to work this thing. What? You don't know? No. <laughs> sure, Larry. We'll be glad to help you. <laughs> <laughs> You've already turned it on and created your user account. So swipe across it. I don't have a cleaning rag with me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Swipe across the display with your finger. What are all those pretty little pictures for? Those are apps. What do you mean, apps? Apps. Programs. Oh, I see. And uh, how do I type something into them? You have to call up the keyboard. But this thing doesn't have one. It will appear on the screen. Huh, that's way too small. Huh, 
I think I've got it now. I doubt it. <laughs> How does the woman inside work? <laughs> you have to call her. Yoo-hoo! Not like that. You have to say, Hello, Pi. Hello, Pi. Yes, Larry? What can you do? I'm a self-learning AI. The more you interact with me, the better I understand you. Then you'd be the first woman in the world where that worked. Can you play video games on this thing, too? Only if you want to buy loot boxes. What? I'll explain if you pay me $800. Never! Then that's not for you. Okay. One more important thing. Faith said that I should collect points in something called Timber. Ever hear of it? If you want to get anywhere on Timber, you'll need a damn good profile. A good thing we know something about that, don't we? <laughs> 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 we can help you set up a profile that really gets the chicks. Great! Uh, but we don't do this for just anyone, so we need you to prove that you're a real player. You guys aren't exactly my type. <laughs> Ew, no, not that kind of thing. I'd like some soft toilet paper. They only buy the cheapest here at Prune, and it scratches like hell. And I have neurodermatitis and acne vulgaris on, uh, you know? And what do you want? <laughs> anyway, what? Some underwear. Aren't you wearing any? I'm a girl, but used. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Of course. Uh, hey, it's not what you think. It's not for me or anything like that. But if you can get those, we'll know you're a real player. <laughs> so, you want toilet paper. But it has to be soft. A pair of panties. But they have to be used. No problem. Perfectly normal things you can get from any vending machine. Hey, Lefty. What's up, Aaron? The Wi-Fi's gone all wonky again. Up, down, up, down. I can't work like this. I've notified the technician. And when is the technician coming? Mm, can't be much longer. Tell him to get his thumb out. I announced a show for today. bad. Uh, is there anything I can do to help? Hey, people! How are you? Becky? Is that you? I'm not doing so mega hot. More like kind of down. Because the people here are partying so hard, it's killing me. <laughs> but I'll be good to go again in a minute. And then it's back out to the other party peoples. So, if you want to stay tuned to what the nightlife here in the hottest location of New Lost Wages has going on, then click on subscribe below and write in the comments where you're partying hard today. <laughs> yep, that's Becky. Was it you? Did you put something in my drink? You deserved it. You freaking... <coughs> Can you hand me the toilet paper? Forget it. I need it all myself. But this stays between us. I could use some panties. Why do you... I don't want to talk about it. I'll see what I can find. 
Why does everyone want me to get them panties? Well, they'll talk later. Not a chance. Uh, something I could do for you, Larry? Well... How's the barbarian brew doing? Some people complained about bellyache. Oh, those were probably just some little wimps who couldn't take it. And now the pipes are broken, too. Ah, uh, I'm kind of an expert when it comes to using my tool. That'd be great. Here's the key to the back room. Uh, but be quiet. Erin lives upstairs. She don't want to be disturbed. Don't worry. I can use my tool quietly, too. Uh, you need to fire up the brewing vat, the, the, the brew kettle again. Pull the lever down, then turn the valve and push the lever up again. But you'll have to fix the pipe first. Something has eaten its way through. Huh. I wonder what. Who was that scantily clad redhead? Who? Aaron? Oh, she rents the room upstairs. And... What does she do up there? I don't really know, and it's none of my business. Something with that internet. Let's talk about something else. What else you got? You have a room available? You know, for when the ladies come to call. Yeah, the room upstairs. But Aaron's using it right now. She only wanted to rent it for a while, but now she's been here for some time. So if she moves out, I could move in? <laughs> if you can pay. Of course. Don't take this the wrong way, Larry, but your tab at my place is a lot more than a month's rent. And be happy I haven't charged you any interest since 1987. Maybe I can work off the rent. If by that you mean... You're going to help me fix the brewery, then we have a deal. See you later, Lefty. Lock up. Also broken off. Are the keys here made out of wax or what? Lefty's clean laundry. Well, at least he changes his clothes every now and again. Since when does Lefty wear? Oh, they must belong to this errand. Surely no one will notice if I take them. Uh, surely. Oh, thanks. Good thing. Uh, was there something else? Ah, uh, the toilet paper, please? Here. Oh, that's just an empty roll. I used it all. And will you please get out of here? I want to get changed. You got an empty toilet roll there, Larry? Is it all used up again? Yep. Strange. These days it's always gone in no time at all. Maybe it has something to do with the barbarian brew? Oh. You think so? Uh, I stuck to the German beer purity law. Well, to the revised version my great-great-great-grandfather Lefty Niederelts, who emigrated here from Kassel in 1887, used. And let me tell you, snake oil isn't easy to get these days. Except from Taiwan. Uh, can you do me a favor and put up another roll of toilet paper? Uh, we just got a new shipment. You'll find everything in the back room. Hmm. 
Hmm. Perfect. I call it the butt buffer. Uh, Larry, you can forget the toilet paper now. The toilet didn't survive. It's been through a lot over the years, but that was just too much. That Becky disappeared too. She said to tell you she never wants to see you again. Did Becky, maybe? Yes! She threw her panties in there! Definitely used. Uh, didn't you say you wanted them to prove that I was a real player? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, of course. I I'm only spelling it to be um, absolutely sure. Oh, and the toilet paper is so soft. Feel it. Awesome. Oh, can I have some of that too? No, never. I'd like to get out of here. Could you call me a taxi? Taxis? <laughs> Nowadays we use Unter. I came here with one of those Unters too. Uh, what exactly is that all about? Uh, Unter drivers take you from one place to another. Like taxis? Not exactly. They drive their own cars, so they're much cheaper. Oh. Wow, that sounds both practical and useful. Uh, though, y you have to expect that your driver is new in town, or that the car has no seats. Huh, <laughs> or no wheels. Uh, anyway, everything is fully automatic. As soon as you know where you want to go, just tap your destination in the Unter app. Wow, that's almost like beaming up. <laughs> well, the way some of those Unter drivers drive does leave you feeling like your body is being split into its constituent atoms. <laughs> <laughs> but it will only show you places you've been or places you know about. You guys are going to help me with this timber thing. Of course. Uh, we'll give you all the hottest tips and you'll get more tail than you can tap in a lifetime. Just leave a few for us, too. <laughs> yeah, just uh, give me your Pi phone. Here. You change one single thing in my settings and I will hack your own Pi phone and publish your browser history. <laughs> Okay, uh, so in order for me to set up the perfect profile for you, I need you to answer a few questions. Sure. Name? Larry Laffer. Nickname? Lounge Lizard. <laughs> That's what they called me in elementary school. Profession? guy who understands women. I'll just enter IT specialist. Chicks love that. Yeah, that's why they're always after us, too. Uh, what's your motto? Uh, your tagline? I have the key to your heart and for your vagina. Uh, that suits you. H? You're as young as you feel. Let's stay realistic. Uh, let's say 39. Uh, favorite animal? Rhinoceros. Whoa. My astrologist said that's my power animal. Uh, your personal gender assignment. Man. I'll enter... Man? 
but with the quotation marks. A sexual orientation? Whichever hand is free. Um, uh, okay. I'll enter bisexual. Uh, that will give you the most options on timber. Well, you guys are the pros. Favorite position? Anything we are not chained up. <laughs> Let's just say Scroonicorn, and that's in right now. Okay, <laughs> now for the profile picture. Show me your good side. Perfect. If that's not an impressive profile, I don't know what is. So what do I do with this timber? Well, hey, if someone matches your profile, that person will be displayed as a suggested contact. And then... You can swipe the pictures to the left if you don't like them. Or to the right if you like them. Hey, if a person likes you, they will be shown under matches. And then your matches are shown on the Unter map. Uh, even the ones you swiped away at first. And then you get points? I need 90 to get Faith to go out with me. Ugh. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Yeah. Prune has a complicated and top-secret algorithm built into Timber that determines your score. Uh, it evaluates the number of contacts, uh, the quality of your contacts, the frequency, and the quality of the sex. Uh, in addition, Timber members all rate each other. Uh, good date scores more points. <sighs> the app evaluates the frequency and quality of my sex? Wow. How does it do that? We've been asking ourselves the same thing for a while now. Let me get this straight. I need to have sex with as many women as possible to finally get my dream girl faith? Well, yeah, that's one way of putting it. Wow, the 21st century is great! Hey, Larry. Yes, babe? I have new suggestions for you on Timber. Oh, the profile's working! The ladies love me. As was to be expected. Uh. Ladies, get ready. Here comes... Larry Laffer! Pot, what's my current score? Five. <laughs> it's a start. Only 85 points left, babe. Not long until our date. Talk about a nut job. You have some new matches on Timber, Larry. Your noise is coming from the room. Hello? Uh, this timber thing says you want to match me? Well, in that case, come on in. Wow! I love what you've done with the room. You've been in this hole before? If you only knew how apt that was. What do you mean? Let me put it this way. The previous tenant was rather, uh, universally hospitable. That explains why guys keep showing up and saying Ken sent them. Not to mention the exotic smell of the mattress. 
Just when you think things are bad enough, something else comes along. Apropos cum. If you'd like, we could create some new smells on that mattress. You sure don't waste any time for an internet technician. You are an internet technician, right? Lots of guys nowadays put everything in their timber profile just to get more matches. That would be really disappointing. And I desperately need someone to help me out. Uh, of course. <laughs> Who would lie on an internet, huh? <laughs> Larry Laffer, uh, at your service. You don't beat about the bush and you're helpful. Good mix, honey. Who knows what might happen if you really get the internet back up and running. What's a scrumptious lady like yourself doing in a scabrous place like this? I'm working on my degree in literary history. Apartments and new lost wages are expensive. That's how I ended up here earning money doing cam shows. Cam shows? So you're on TV? No, on the internet. Well, I would be if the internet was working properly. My followers are already waiting anxiously for my next show on the net. At least I can log into Timber via the mobile network. Where is this internet? And did something break off? Um, you want to know where the router is, don't you? It must be somewhere in the building. <laughs> How British! A router! <laughs> what does it look like again? It's a box with glowing lights. Lefty should know. Huh. So, we have a date from that app, don't we? Oh, don't you worry. As soon as I have internet access again, you're going to get a very special show, honey. When do we get down to it? Uh-uh. Don't be so impatient. First, I have to look after my followers. And I need my parcel to make sure I attract a huge bunch of followers. The parcel is still at the leisure suite. Then you'll get your own private show. I promise. Leisure suite? That sounds kind of familiar. It's that shop downtown. There's a package for me there. But unfortunately, I put the pickup slip in my jewelry case, and I can't find the key. Can't you just show your ID and pick it up? No. You need the official packing slip. Besides, I can't leave here until I do my show. When was the last time you saw the key? I know I had it with me the last time I left the house. See you later, then. I'll... I'm gonna need a lot more of those. Uh, something I could do for you, Larry? Well... Do you have any idea where the internet is? Is that piece of crap router causing trouble again? Yes. Erin said her connection was too weak. Something to do with her cameras. Funny. I didn't see any tapes anywhere. I told her it wasn't a good idea to switch to that funky thing just because it looked so old-fashioned. Wait a minute. Are you talking about me? Or do you mean... The jukebox is a router? Yes. They told me this was the latest hybrid technology. That thing is nothing but trouble. And the music selection sucks, too. A truly inferior product. Not to be compared to modern technology like myself. Oh, hold on a sec. I just need to install 71 critical updates. Be right back. See you later, Lefty. Ah, I like candy. Help yourself, they're free. I 
I'm your turbo laugher. If that was supposed to be some sort of pickup line, it was unusual. Hey, thanks. Oh, I didn't mean that as that. Ah, you know, never mind. My name is Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer? At your service. Always. Lemma. Lemma Talica. Rockin' out. Always. Would you go out with me? You don't waste any time, do you? I like that. After my concerts, I always feel the need to have a good time. Uh, what? Sex. You know, birds, bees, etc., etc., etc. But I need groupies that can take it. So that's why you matched me on Timber. Nah, I match everyone so they come to my concerts. Oh, okay. If there's one thing I know, it's how to cool a hot woman down. Hmm. That sounded better in my head. But first, my gig has to actually take place. Hey, there are still posters to be hung up, and my drummer disappeared. Didn't show up for sound check. Wanted to grab a drink in some nasty rundown bar on the beach. If I could only remember the name. I could do the poster stuff. Oh, thank you so much. That would really help me out. Here you go. And that's another one gone. Um, what is this place? Hello? Welcome to the Salon de Lazard. The most individual, underground, hip, and veganist bar in town. Here? You can get anything you want. And it's all gluten-free. Gluten? Just what is that supposed to be? Hey, does it taste good? Uh, 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 um... Breathe evenly, Everett. Remember India. I... Oh. Um... A, a beer, please? Sorry. We're all out of organic, natural, pale ale. Did you know that natural ingredients rot pretty quickly without preservatives? What else do you have on the menu? We've got chai latte, maca latte, normal latte, and a really stiff latte. Don't say it, Larry. Stiff. <laughs> and, of course, he says it. All with soy milk, naturally. Plus falafel and halloumi sandwiches. More avocado dishes than I could list here now. All regionally sourced and organic. And gluten-free bread to try out. So, what'll it be? Is the bread free? Yeah. Somehow it's not too popular. So, we're offering it for people to try. Well, keep it coming. Uh, I don't think I want anything after all. I'll see you later. Now the bread is soaked with barbarian brew. And that's another one gone. Oh, we did a doggy. What's that you have there for a toy? Oh, now it's sad. Almost makes it even cuter. Almost. A few flyers with nutrition and training tips.
and that's another one gone. Keep it up and stay fit. I don't want to throw that away. And that's another one gone. His jaw looks pretty darn strong. The gum is all sticky again, but how do I get it back? Oh, the chewing gum made the bone incredibly sticky. Short plus short equals long. A sticky fishing rod. There was a key in the drain. And that's another one gone. Darn! The wall is too moist. I can use that to pin up the poster. I'm gonna keep one dart, just in case I have to defend myself. And that's another one gone. I can hang that there. There are always a lot of people here. Well, at least Lefty and... Mm, Aaron. And that's another one gone. Uh-oh. What the hell is this? Did Lefty wall someone in there? Somehow that seems familiar. He won't miss it. It fits! I can use that to pick up Erin's package from the leisure suite. Uh, something I could do for you, Larry? Well... Was one of your guests tonight a drummer? Hmm. It wasn't exactly rush hour tonight, but I don't remember any drummer. Well, at least nobody had a drum kit with them. Can you describe him a little better? Not at the moment. Uh, I'll ask again later. Maybe I could remember if you can describe him better. Name, clothes, facial features, character description, peculiar habits. Yeah, yeah, I get it. See you later, Lefty.
Hey, wait a second. I know that face. It wasn't me. Besides, she started it herself. You forgot to mention in your profile how quick-witted you are. Profile? You mean, we're friends on that timber thing? Exactly. But, as far as I'm concerned, we can be more than just friends. Best friends? That too, of course. But with benefits. Oh, well, I've never been to a benefit before. Can you wear white there? Your outfit is totally ageless, handsome. My sensors are better than this guy's eyes. Your profile picture, on the other hand, it doesn't do you justice. He's lucky he doesn't know what it looks like below the belt. Look, I'm going to make you a great offer. Oh, you want to set me up with your mother? Tempting thought, but no. How about I set up a proper photo shoot for you? What's that supposed to be good for? Profiles with professional photos achieve 86.8% .8 more matches on timber. Okay, should I take my clothes off now? Maybe not right away. First, we need to find a romantic place for the shoot. Ah, don't worry. Romance is in my blood. There's no doubt about that. Let me know when you have some place where we can take those photos. Hey, what are you putting up there? Just some advertising. For what? Um... For a new sex toy? Oh. Interesting. Let me see that. That's a strange looking gizmo. Go ahead and stick it up. And that's another one gone. Um, so, do you have a really great sex machine in stock? Sure. Built it myself. He used to have a lover working road construction and got a really good deal on a used jackhammer. But it's pretty worn down now and has a thick crust on it. They say that happens with age. At any rate, it's definitely time for me to build a new sex machine. Or one that really bangs. Thanks for the suggestion, kid. You're very welcome. I'm looking forward to seeing the result. Oh, yeah, uh, here you are, madame. Thanks. Just a second. Sorry, kid, I can't read the handwriting. Nowadays, everything is printed so small, probably to make the penises painted next to it look bigger. Have you ever heard of this new technology called glasses? Now, don't give me that, kid. I have eyeglasses, but I lost them last night when I was sandwiched between the two Finnish dwarves and the Maori warrior. <laughs> What's that, a reading monocle? <laughs> That's just perfect. If I can give you a tip, always take your glasses off before having acrobatic sex, because otherwise they're history. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, yeah, uh, here you are, madame. Thanks. Just a second. Let's see how good these new glasses are. Ah, yes, this package. Been lying here forever. The poor package? Is it sick? I hope your sphincter works better than your mouth. Is that supposed to be some sort of challenge? No. Here, every customer gets this pair of free gloves to keep their mouths shut. Hey, get away from there! Why? What's back there? Nothing at all. Do you have to pay an entrance fee? No, it's just off limits to you. But that obviously belongs to this store. No, this is it. My information indicates another shop at this address. Cheeky little tramp. Oh, whatever. Come on, I'll show you what's back there. Come with me and see the double life I lead. 
It's a clicky mart. Oh, too bad. Nothing perverted here. Somehow, I find it reassuring that you feel that way. Why is the normal shop in the back room? Because it's just too embarrassing. Without the Quickie Mart, I would have had to close the leisure suite long ago. Mm. It's all that damn internet's fault. And now that people can see all the skin games they want on the internet, they've stopped coming here. And whoever invented neutral packaging should be ashamed of themselves. Anyway, the only thing keeping me afloat is having this place, too. So now you know my dirty little secret. Feel free to uh, look around. Help yourself, kid. All customers can have one. That doesn't make me the least bit suspicious. A very cold drink. Brain freeze guaranteed. Keep it nice and cool. What's up? Your drummer disappeared? Yeah, and we can't do the gig without him, unfortunately. Last time I saw him, he wanted to go for a drink in some nasty rundown bar on the beach. But I can't remember the name of the bar. A case for Detective Larry. I won't rest until this case is solved, baby. What's your drum buddy's name? Sticks Laboom. An interesting clue. Do you have a picture of your drummer? Uh, not a chance. He hates having his picture taken, and he's not even on timber. But you should ask the boys here in the Salon de Lezard about him. He was talking to them, too. An interesting clue. I should check to see if anyone else around here knows anything about sticks. See you in a bit. Hello. Welcome to the Salon de Lezard. I heard you were talking to a drummer named Styx. Yes, creepy guy. What about him? Any idea where I can find him? No idea. We threw him out because he started smoking in here. We can be thankful if our customers don't sue us. An interesting clue. Can you describe him a little better? What do you want to know? What was he wearing? One of those old-fashioned biker jackets? Only not in white, like you. An interesting clue. Can you describe him a little better? What do you want to know? What color is his hair? Hard to say with his red bandana. Uh, his beard was gray, at any rate. Oh, yeah. He looked pretty unkempt. And he didn't even want to buy our quality beard oil. An interesting clue. Know anything else about Sticks? He had a huge fight with that lemma. That guy seems to have some serious issues. An interesting clue. Huh, well, well, let's talk about something else. I'll see you later. What's up? I hear you had a fight with him. Ah, Sticks is one stubborn son of a bitch. He thinks that we're selling our souls by performing here at the Salon de Lezard. He just doesn't want to see that this is our big chance. Instead, he hangs out in the seediest parts of town. He definitely has some issues, especially with alcohol and gambling. Well, nobody's perfect. An interesting clue.
See you in a bit. Hey, hands off. That's the most expensive thing in the whole place. And not for sale. It's just a piece of cloth. No, it's the shroud. The shroud of urine. Okay, I'll give you three bucks for it. Oh, are you deaf? Not for sale. Why? What's so special about it? It's the sheet Freddie Quicksilver was buried in. The one from the legendary Live AIDS concert. For a Queef fan, it is the holiest of all relics. Some of our guests only come here to pay homage to the Shroud. Queef split up? No, they've been looking for a new singer for 25 years. But they'll never find another one like him again. And since then, they've gone really mainstream? Yeah. You can't take them seriously anymore. They used to be underground, but nowadays... Would you trade the shroud for something? Mm, I can only think of one thing that would mean more to us than the shroud of urine. Me too. A Polaroid. What's that? It's the absolutely limited edition vintage camera from Prune. And they only made a very few. It prints out a photo right away instead of saving it digitally. So every photo is unique. The picture quality is absolutely retro, so really, really bad. Isn't that just the wildest, most revolutionary idea ever? BJ is simply a genius. Of course. I'll see if I can dig one up. The Salon de Lazard said the drummer smoked. I wonder whether. Yes, a pack of camel toe. Never heard of that brand before. An interesting clue. Not just good for preventing venereal disease. I should tell Aaron. A minute! I'm doing my show! Hey, Larry. The internet is back on! Oh, I just knew I could trust you, hon. My followers can look forward to a nice show. Then, of course, it's your turn. I have something for you. Finally! I can hardly wait to take this toy out of the box and put it in my box for my followers. <laughs> so... Are we ready for the big show now? Well, I guess so. What's wrong? A sudden headache? I know it's hard to believe, but that happens to a lot of the women I talk to. I don't want to bother you with my problems. Fine by me. I'm more in the mood for the promised show anyway. Actually, I never really planned on doing filthy little shows on the internet. Uh, are you telling me all that work was for nothing? No, no, exactly the opposite. It made me realize that I've been settling for something far less than my big dream. <gasps> Are you telling me someone is forcing you to do this? What, my literature studies? No, I do it all of my own free will. But my real, true passion is something different. There is one job I've always dreamed of having. One that would make my parents proud. What dream is that? 
Am I in it? I left the country for new lost wages in order to become a real stripper. I mean, I love literature too, but the dream of becoming a stripper is just so much stronger. It's not that I don't like the cam show, but I want to hit the big stage. Uh, something I could do for you, Larry? Well... Was one of your guests tonight a drummer? Hmm... It wasn't exactly rush hour tonight, but... I don't remember any drummer. Well, at least nobody had a drum kit with them. Can you describe him a little better? His name is Stick Slaboom. Like I can remember any names at my age. You know any more about him? Graybeard? Unkempt? No use for beard oil? I can't tell those bearded hipsters apart anyway. You know any more about him? He wears one of those old-fashioned biker jackets. That's not the most unusual description for a drummer. You know any more about him? He has some alcohol and gambling issues. Those are my favorite guests. You know any more about him? Smokes this weird brand of cigarettes. Camel Toe. Oh, that drummer. Why did you say so? You'll find him at Pier 69, blowing his money on gambling. Pier 69 is right at the end of Kneebolt Street. You'd best be off getting an Unter. Pier 69 added to Unter. And that's another one gone. Oh, Becky. Hey, that's the guy I was telling you about. That's Larry. He put something in my drink and then wanted to attack me. Is that true? Is that true? Absolutely not. Stay away from me, you creep. I mean, it really got my community behind me to support me. But that was some really sick shit. Don't ever do that again. Can I get you another drink? No way. Hey, you stay away from Becky, you hear me? Who are you? Lance. So, Lance, what do you do? I'm a fitness trainer and uh, I work in the gym on the strip. <laughs> if you really want to get in shape, then I'm the one to talk to. Six packs and big strong biceps are my thing. <clears throat> I mean, uh, uh, they're my specialty. Is Becky your girlfriend? Lance is my date. Aren't his muscles just so totally on fleek? He's the perfect insta-husband. Hey, I just have what the ladies want. Good thing I'm all about the ladies. Exclusively. Can I get you something else to drink, Becky? No. See you later. something like that lying around unguarded. Oh, I see. It's only a plastic diamond, but it's really sharp just the same. First, I'll take down the poster that's hanging there. And that's another one gone. It says something here about e-cigarettes being used to control people's brainwaves.
Hey. Yes. I'm Larry Laffer, and I bet your name is. Steamy Bison. Dude, are you serious? You do realize how cliched and racist that is? Look, an Indian who smokes. I bet his name's probably made up of smoke and animal names. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. What is your name, Matt? Smoky Bear. That's a funny cigarette you have there. What? Never seen an EP's pipe before? E as in <laughs> erection? E as in electric. Are you a robot? You really were born yesterday. An electronic cigarette evaporates its ingredients and doesn't contain nicotine. The modern liquids that are evaporated are made from completely natural ingredients. Can I have that e-cigarette? No way. My body needs the organic substances the cigarette evaporates. I've never heard of these e-cigarettes being in any way harmful. See you later. Look at this. Let me see that. National control. Chemtrails. Brainwashing. The popular e-cigarettes also contain substances used to control people. They are, so to speak, chemtrails to go. Okay, I think I'd better stop. Oh, can I have the e-cigarette now? It's not that simple. I need some kind of substitute. Something that satisfies me orally. Um, that sounded a little weird, but uh, you get my drift. Would that satisfy you orally? Hmm. Okay, fine. At least it doesn't contain any artificial poisons. Here. Take this chemtrail contaminated poison injector. You have to insert something you want to press. That should work, because that's really old gold. Yes, the machine pressed that tooth into a coin. Hello? What's up? What's that photo panorama? It shows a romantic sunset at the golden hour. It's a little faded, but that's why it suits New Lost Wages. How much is it? Collector's item. One hundred dollars. But I only take cash. I don't have that kind of money. Well, I'd also trade it for a really extraordinary second-hand object. I'll try to find something like that. What kind of strange figurine is that? This is a very rare Sleaze Wars character. The slave princess even has a removable gold bikini. Incredibly valuable. Still in the original packaging, like even the air inside, it's from the 70s. I'd like to buy the figurine. That'll be a thousand dollars. Why don't we just say <laughs> three dollars? Like, no. See you later. I have an idea. I better step aside for this. What? What was that? 
Oh no, the Sleaze Wars figure. It's like no longer sealed. The authentic air from the 70s is gone. So much for the mint condition. Hello, what's up? I'd like to buy the figurine. That's one dollar. Come on, give me four this time. Bingo, jackpot, give me something, anything, baby. Sticks? Well, who wants to know? I'm Larry. Hmm, <laughs> Larry Laffer. Lemma sent me. Are you Sticks? Yeah, leave me alone. <laughs> Drumming doesn't have much to do with music. Uh, well, I guess that's true. At least it's loud. I like the stones. You totally look like a rocker. Thanks. Ugh. Don't feel bad. I get this all the time. Lemma's quite the hottie, isn't she? A pain in the ass. Sticks, stop playing the horses. Sticks, stop playing the shell game. Sticks, stop the hot dog eating competitions. She just won't let me be who I am. Come on, Lemma's waiting for you. Not a freaking prayer. She wants us to play in that awful hipster bar. They don't serve beer. They only serve smoothies. If Lemma wants to surrender to the capitalist pig system, I'm out. You can tell her I'm quitting the band. If you want to cut plastic glass, you need a plastic diamond. It's only logical. Like a diamond thief. Now go ahead and take that thing with you, Larry. I can't hear it anymore. There's an awfully high note on it. And they don't sell insurance against that. in there. It took that. Okay. What do I want? One portion of Szechuan sauce for the old corn dog coming right up. Just one poster left. What's up? I need one of those instant cameras. Uh, you mean our Prune Polaroid Vintage Collector's Edition? Sorry, buddy, but that's way out of your price range. But now that you've proven that you're able to procure, um, sensitive items... You know, I never in a million years thought I'd ever say this, but... I really don't feel like getting you any more used panties. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> there is this action figure we've been looking for for like forever. Jan Sylvester Willis? We're looking for the slave princess from Sleaze Wars. But only the version with removable gold bikini. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, keep my eyes open. The 
brave princess from Sleece Wars. Oh my god, it's really her! In the original box. In the removable gold bikini. Um, you guys wanted to. Sure, sure, just, just take one, we'll look the other way. Wow, a prune Polaroid. It's just so mega. Wanna trade? Pick out anything you want. I'll trade for that weird cloth back there. Hmm, they've become pretty mainstream lately. Yo, that thing can go. Okay, it's a deal, let's trade. You know that it's priceless for a queef fan. Just take it. Uh, Lemma, I have some bad news. What? Stick says he's quitting the band. That goddamn gambling son of a bitch. He just leaves me hanging. And when our next gig could be our breakthrough. Okay, that's it. The band is history. I don't have a drummer anymore, and my guitar's been stolen. Ah, no guitar, no concert. Uh, don't give up yet. Maybe there's still something I can do. I'll find out where your guitar is. Go ahead, surprise me. The guitar was stolen. Hmm, it's from a nightclub called Hell's Pawn. The address is on here, too. Hell's Pawn added to Unta. This should be interesting. Perfect. Now I can play the record. That sound shattered the glass cabinet. I'll just take that. I finally hung up all of the posters. I should tell Lama. Ladies love flowers. Hey, who are you and what do you want? I'm Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. Chebe. Chebe? No, Chebe. Sorry, I don't speak Canadian. That's... Oh, hell, forget it. This guitar is stolen. What? That's impossible. I bought guitar legally. What a load of bullshit. It was stolen from Lemma. I never heard of any Lemma. I got guitar from nice old lady in Leisure Suite. Go ahead, ask her. She'll tell you it's truth. What is this place? Don't tell me you don't know the city's hottest club. You mean lefties? Hell's Pawn. The club for rich and famous. Obviously, you're neither of those. Huh, damn. Looks like I left my membership card in my other Ferrari. <laughs> and then I suppose one of your servants parked in wrong car park. How did you know? Hmm. 
Is Bouncer actually an apprentice profession? It is if you want to learn properly. But I just took some night school courses. Don't tell anyone, but I even had my chest expanded. So, uh, what goes on in there? Exclusive things. Too exclusive for someone like you. The club should be overjoyed to have someone like me as a guest. Why don't we just agree on uh, no? But if you know someone who could deliver exclusive, extraordinarily delicate performance here, tell me. We are always on lookout for fresh show acts. Well, I can... Fresh. Aaron would be perfect for the job in the VIP area. Erin? Never hear of her. What can she do? She shows, well, you know, and then and then she, um, everything in, in, in front of the camera. But she wants to hit the big stage. Hmm. I'd have to see for myself just what she can do. Just trust me. I know good when I see it. Somehow, when I look at you, I have really hard time imagining that. Come and watch a show live. I'm Bouncer at Hell's Pawn. If I leave workplace for even just one second, chaos break out in new lost wages. She has a show on the internet. Nah, I don't trust internet. Don't even have Pi phone. Just get me something where I can see what she has to offer. The best thing would be sample of her show. I'll come back later. What can I do for you? Have you sold a guitar in the last few days? I'm sure happy I managed to get rid of that. That lady pawnbroker had an urgent need to buy some... Delicate uh, lingerie. The ones you can eat? At any rate, the only thing she had to trade was the guitar, and I let her talk me into it. I'll come back a little later. Don't go dying on me now. I look fitter than you do. His pulse and blood sugar are really bad, too. Hey, Larry. I have an idea where we can take that photo. Okay, let's hear it. Here, 69 symbolizes passion. Larry, I could kiss you. The light there is perfect at this time of day. The golden hour will be here soon. Oh, then it's time to get a move on. Aren't you the impetuous one? Unfortunately, the place holds some sad memories for me. Maybe I can help you make some new, better memories. <laughs> Not only are you funny and handsome, you're wise too. The answer's on me. But I have to do all the work and call the Unta again. Wait a minute. I see on Timber that my old flame is there right now. I can help you make the meeting as pleasant as possible. It's more complicated than you think. Until my former love leaves, I won't be doing any photos for you today. Then I'll make sure they leave. I'll see you later. Would just fly away. According to Wankypedia, this species only lives from what humans feed them. Over the years, they have developed a taste for particularly disgusting food. Here, my little dove. 
Oh yeah, she likes that. What's she doing now? Ah, huh. she couldn't handle the barbarian brew either. Uh-oh, that could end up going south in a big way. Or in the drink. What happened this time? Uh, I can't figure it out myself. <laughs> Women are pretty strange, aren't they? But they sure are nice to touch. Yeah, there's nothing better than a nice hard cut. Couple of tits! Uh, nothing better than firm tits. You're messing up my head, man. My glucose levels are screwed. All because of your babbling. Becky and I were just going out to dinner, but I, I don't think that's gonna happen. You know what I'm up for? A new haircut? Szechuan sauce. Ah, you can get it pretty much everywhere. Uh, yeah, but not this one special brand you could buy when I was little. It was called the Szechuan Crazy Fanboy Edition, which was only available for a short time and has been sold out since about forever. Oh, the best sauce ever. Whenever someone offers a package on the internet, there's fighting in the street where the seller lives. Man. What I wouldn't give to taste that Szechuan Crazy Fanboy Edition sauce just one more time. Here you go! One corn dog with the rarest Szechuan sauce of all time! Oh my god. A classic corn dog right out of the picture books. Who I can hardly wait to slide that wiener into my mouth to lick off all that sauce. Mm, that would be heavenly. Uh, feeling better now? Uh, I'm in a mass phase. At least I think I am. You see, somehow I've, I've been a little confused lately. Yeah, women will do that to you. Oh, I, I, I don't want to blame it on the ladies. I just got out of something like a relationship. But I'm not sure I even know what it really was. Oh, oh damn. Mm, a whole corn dog with Szechuan sauce. You know how many calories that just was? Those have to be transformed into biceps right away. I saw in timber that my old flame is gone. Thanks, Larry. Unfortunately, we missed the golden hour. Is that the oldies one? I can imagine what you like to put in your mouth. I mean, the moment just before the sun goes down completely. That would have been the perfect background for your new profile picture. Can't we somehow fake it for the photo? If you spontaneously find a sunset somewhere in your pants, let me know. Why not? I always decorate wedding arches with flowers when I'm bored. Hello? What's up? Did some guy pawn a guitar here the other day? Yeah. I did that deal the other day. It was that guy over there by the slots. Confess! You pawned the guitar. Yes, I confess. It was the only way to make any more money out of the band. Money I needed for my investments. Real estate? No, this. Slot machines. They're the only ones who are good to me and understand me. This one in particular today.
The bouncer at Hell's Pawn doesn't believe that the guitar is stolen property. You have to tell the bouncer that you stole it. Bah! I'm on a roll right now. As long as this machine keeps spitting out the cash, I ain't moving an inch. See you later. Don't break anything. Something smells cheesy. Oh, that dildo there smells like really old cheese. Oh, so that's where that smell is coming from. You can't take it with you, kid. Nobody's gonna buy it. Uh, thanks? Now the condom smells like cheese, too. And the dildo accidentally slipped in. Now it has a stable opening. Well, that was easier than I thought, and as logical as it gets. I'm so ashamed that that really worked. That secondhand sign is really vintage. Would you trade it? You can choose anything you want from the store. The photo panorama. Okay. A romantic sunset. Here you go. trick. Now the hatch cover is off and the maintenance hatch is open. If only it was always that easy. Yeah, that might work. What? Why isn't this thing working anymore? Damn, there goes my winning streak. <laughs> Who needs a cat in a hat when you have a rat who's the ghost in a machine? The bouncer at Hell's Pawn doesn't believe that the guitar is stolen property. You have to tell the bouncer that you stole it. What? That huge dude bought the guitar? If he finds out I ripped him off, He'll tear me apart. I definitely need a drink before I can face Chebe. But they don't sell them here. They'd have a liquor license or something like that. 
See you later. Don't break anything. Wow, that's perfect. And so beautifully vintage. The golden hour. Let's get the shoot started. just like it did before. I'll apply a filter. How about this one? Well, happy? What, do you like yourself now? Hmm, I could fall in love with myself. Great, but I have one small condition before I give you the photo. And that is? I wanna dance with you in Hell's Pawn, in the dark room. Oh, if that's all you want. Night fever, night fever. Easy, easy, save it for the club. I'll give you a few points on Timber. What, not the maximum score? You can have that if I really like your dance. So, I'll see you at Hell's Pawn later. <laughs> Count on it. Hey, Pie? How many timber points do I have now? It should be about 60, right? You have 11 timber points. Are you sure there's no zero missing back there? Absolutely certain. Oh. How could our prototype end up in a greasy bar like that? I'm still having that checked out. Well, that kind of security breach can't ever be allowed to happen again. Send someone in so I can fire them. We have to focus on the upcoming product presentation now. But I want to fire someone now. At least an intern. You fired them all last week. Hire one. Send him up to me. I'll see if I can find someone. And I'll angrily pace back and forth here in the meantime. Larry, you have new suggestions on Timber. Something I could do for you, Larry? Well... Open the poison chest. I need the strongest drink you have. You've come to the wrong place. The brewery is currently out of commission. Besides, all those hipsters want are virgin cocktails. Everything's going down the toilet. The world is getting crazier and crazier. Lefties is serving non-alcoholic drinks in the last bastion of excessive enjoyment. Here, try one of those things. Yeah, <laughs> if there was at least some virgin in it. See you later, Lefty. Now it's literally a dressed cocktail. Well, now the pipe should do what pipes are supposed to do when they do what they do. Right on the first try. Just like sex. Well, usually. A minute! I'm doing my show! Is that the cunning linguist by Montgomery Clitheroe? 
How did you know this was one of my absolute favorite books? Unbelievable! You must have looked in every antiquarian bookstore in town. <sighs> There's nothing I wouldn't do for you, baby. I can tell, Sugar. Hey, I need those for my strawberry bush. I I'm only borrowing them for a second. The rotor blades look really sharp. The rotor blades look... Snip. So, no one's filming Erin anymore. Well, except for herself. But the camera fell down. Hey, Aaron? What's up? Hey, I heard something that might interest you. Yes? You know Hell's Pawn, right? The nightclub? Sure, but I've never been there. We could change that. They're looking for an act with that something special. You're something special. But they would need a demonstration of your skills as soon as possible. Crap. I can't go now. It's time for my show. Then we'll tape you. On what? VHS, 2000, Betamax. Are you having a stroke? Should I call a doctor? What I mean is, can't you record your show? I don't know how to do that. I always just stream. Well, I need a recording of you. That will have to wait. My fans come first. Oh, nothing. Would you please leave my bush trimmer here? Situation report. Operation Brewery completed. That's good news. I have to admit, I didn't think you could do it. I mean, that's kind of technical. However, I had to change the recipe. They said the old barbarian brew gave some people diarrhea. No way! Here's a recipe. These are the things I need. Larry, it'd be great if you could bring me the ingredients for the new and improved barbarian brew. I'll see what I can dig up. Oh, and Larry, if you want, you're welcome to use the brewery while it's out of operation. I automated everything. You just throw in the ingredients, and I can tap the drink in here. Uh, I might get back to you on that. Hmm. I think the camera fell in here. was a bit sweet, but it was a whole new taste. Are you ready to go see Chevy? Fine. I'll meet you there. Your body there has already confessed to everything. He's lucky I didn't tear him apart, you know? I'm a huge Queef fan. Actually, I just wanted the guitar to practice the Boob Hymian Rapturdy solo. But I'll never get that anyway. I believe you. You can have guitar. But I want my investment back, even if guitar is stolen. Ah. <coughs> I uh, don't have enough money. Duh. That's pretty plain to see. I mean, you don't just walk around like that of your own free will. You know what? Just get me something that has to do with Queef. Something for my collection. Then you can have guitar.
I'll come back later. That's the Shroud of Urin. Unbelievable. How did you get it? I have my sources. That's what it looks like. Thanks. Take guitar. And if there is anything else I can do for you, just let me know. W will you let me in the club? Let me think for a second. No. Not that. Professional ethics. Chevy, I have something for you. Check this out. Hmm. Not bad. She's got talent. Ah. Wow. Ah. Did you record this without her knowledge? Does that matter nowadays? Eh, how petty. Well, oh, forget it. That's amazing. She's got the job, but only on probation. Just getting naked is not enough for our clientele. I need something extraordinary for VIP area. Something with flair and intelligence. She can perform later, but she still has to offer extraordinary element in her show. If she can do that, she'll have permanent place in VIP area. I'll talk to her again. I'm sure Aaron will have a good idea. A minute! I'm doing my show! Hey, Aaron? What's up? Aaron, I have great news. Well, mostly anyways. Yes? The people at Hell's Pond think you're awesome. They do? That's incredible. But they think you should offer something else. Uh, something that separates you from the crowd. That makes you special. Ooh, like what? Maybe something with ping-pong balls? I can't do anything like that. It's hopeless, Larry. I'll just give up stripping and devote myself to my other great passion, literature. I always used to get kicked out of poetry slams because I was showing too much skin. Hmm. Wait a minute. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? It's so obvious. Instead of stripping, you could just put more clothes on. Uh, okay, I guess we weren't thinking the same thing. No, Larry. I can combine literature and stripping. Uh, sure, that works too. Strip tees and readings from my favorite books. And since you already brought me my favorite book, I can read from that. You earned yourself a top rating on Timber. That was the sweetest thing anyone has ever done for me. And now, I think it's time you got your private show. Thank you, Larry. I'll see you later at Hell's Pond for my show. Pie, that must be a quantum leap for the timber points. Well? Well? You have 19 timber points. I assume that's rounded down. No, rounded up. In fact, your score is 18.708. All right, all right. Hey, can you send Faith a message to make room on her schedule? I can't contact her. No one can. She'll hear from me soon enough. Larry, you have new suggestions on Timber. Without it, the gig would have been history. 
Thanks, Larry. The concert can start as soon as you've put up all the posters. What's up? I put up all the posters. Great. Thanks a lot. So, do we want to get down to the sets now? <laughs> Looks like I really got you hot to try. Be patient a little longer until I have the gig behind me. I think everything's ready for your concert now. Posters are hung and the guitar is ready to go. Not quite. To make sure my stage show really rocks, I need one more thing. Motorcycles? Nah, something simple but very effective. Artificial smoke. Think you can find a smoke machine? Of course. They're all over the place. Hmm, a somewhat unconventional smoke machine. But hey, it'll be perfect for the show. Yeah, that'll really get people going. Thanks, Larry. I think everything's go for the concert now. Hang on to your polyester panties, Larry. It's time to rock. Lemma, that was amazing. I've said a lot of people rock over the years, but you are definitely the real deal. Thanks. But to be honest, it's not just me. I added a few, uh, let's say, stimulating substances to the smoke machine. Looks like it worked. You could say that. So, is it time for some sex now? I already gave you the highest score on Timber. But our date's not over yet. The after show party will take place later at Hell's Pond. If you still want to join me for a little fun, I'll see you there. Be there, or I'll grab some other guy. I'll be there. Hi. I can tell from your expectant tone of voice that you want to know how many timber points you have. We're such a good team. That's what I'm programmed to do. Why can't all women be as cooperative as you? Before you spit out any more of those lines that make my circuits view, it's 26 points. Oh. Well, I do like a challenge. What the... Why am I getting a timber notification? Hot and trendy. Larry Laffer. I can't believe it. What's the matter? It's that Larry guy. If only I hadn't encouraged him. Who? That pathetic joker in the white suit. He really thinks I'd want to go on a date with him if he had enough timber points. Then we delete his account. No, that would be noticeable. But we have to make sure that he never gets near the new Pyphone ever again. He really confused the new AI. Then take care of it. Of course. Larry, you have new suggestions on Timber. see yeah your timber scores fine welcome to the circle of sexy people and uh, thanks again for referring Erin to us she's rocking VIP area Larry there you are hey dick are you ready for our little date in the dark room date you wanted to see me dance. I want to see how you move your body. You just watch me shake it out there. I can hardly wait. Hey, can I have the photo now? Don't be so impatient, sweetie. I'm ready for anything. That's what I want to hear. I'll see you later in the dark room, Larry. Wait there for me.
So, how's it going? The gig was a huge success. It really got me all worked up, if you know what I mean. I know all too well. Uh, maybe we should just uh, find somewhere quieter? You're right. I'll head on into the VIP area. How do I get in? The only way in is with a ticket. So where can I get one of those tickets? Hey Lance, how's it going? Should we head into the VIP area now, Lance? I really need some shocking new material for my Instacraft stories. For user engagement. Chill, Becky. I wanna, uh, watch the people here a little longer. I'm meeting Dick here. What? Dick? He... He's with you now? What do you care? Now let's go to the VIP area instead. That weird bastard's looking at me like he wants to poison me again. Uh, let's start over. What exactly are you doing with Dick? We both want to go hit the dark room. Oh. Hey, what do you care about that guy? I mean, you're out on a date with me. And could you flex your muscles like that again? That light makes my contouring look mega good. And then if you maybe like... Becky, that's enough. I didn't go on a date with you to be your human handbag. To make Dick think I was doing fine. <sighs> OMG. I totally can't handle this. Ugh. Then I'll just find myself some other sexy, complicated guy with problems. I mean, the city's full of them. I don't need that stupid VIP room ticket anymore, either. I'm sorry if I screwed up your day. Oh, I'm not interested in her anyway. Wait a minute. Now I get it. Take hair on me. He thinks I'm gay, too. And I have a date with him in the dark room. You lucky bastard. Well, at least I have a date with Lemma and Aaron, too. I guess I'll just have to play it by feel. In the dark room of all places. Oh, thank you very much, Becky. Larry, you missed Aaron's show. She's a total babe, right? Rocks the pole the way I rock the mic. I'd sure love to meet her. Who cares about Aaron? As long as we can get down with one another. Don't be like that, Larry. I mean, if Aaron and I hit it off, you might just get to kill two birds with one stone. Erin? Never heard of her. I only have eyes for you. Okay. I guess I need to make this very clear. I want to have a threesome. And if you have to ask if you're one of the three, then the answer is no. Oh, I'm in. Who knows, Larry? Maybe this time with Erin and me will be the best night of your life. <laughs> I can't reach it, and even if I did, I'd never get the bra. Those things are so needlessly complicated. I'm searching the internet for bra open can't reach. I found a tutorial video. Bra telekinesis for dummies. Would you like to see it? Uh, sure. Ah, so that's how it works. And then just... Okay, I think I got it. Watch and learn. Ha! <laughs> it worked! This skill is going to prove very useful. I really earned this. Hey, Aaron.
important. Want to meet in the dark room later? I don't know. I hardly know anybody here. Oh, don't worry. I'll introduce you to someone. I'd really like to know whom I'm dealing with. Here, there's no webcam between me and the people. The person I'd like to get to know better is Lemma. I just love the way she works it. So self-assured. And the way she moves. Maybe I can arrange something. How was your show? Unbelievably good. Everyone was completely delighted. I'm sure it was your show. You think so? I had the feeling that they were more fascinated by the lyricism. There's no way my breast could ever compete with such a profound medieval lyric. Oh, I don't know. They are pretty fine. If you want, I could introduce you to Lemma. Oh, that'd be awesome. I really want to get to know her better, even a little more personally. Wait, I'll introduce you. How long have you been playing music? I just grabbed my dad's guitar one day and started playing. For me, there's nothing better than screaming guitars. You've been living in New Lost Wages long, Aaron? No, not that long. I don't know many people here yet. We can fix that. Huh. The two of them are chatting so intensely that I'd be better off not interrupting. That'd be great. The city can be pretty intimidating when you first get here. You probably know the best places by now. You can bet on that. At any rate, it's a real pleasure to meet you, Lemma. Nice to meet you too, Aaron. I think you and I could go back to the dark room and have some more fun. Join us there in a bit, Larry. Uh, hello? Larry? 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 Larry. Uh, I'll find my way around. That feels moist. Um, really moist. Mmm. Tastes like iron. Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty deep. Hello? Larry! Over here, honey. I've got everything ready. That feels used. I'd like to keep my STD count under control. Something smells fishy. Yeah, that's definitely a fish. Anyone missing their fish? Larry! Oh, stop playing games. I'm ready for you. Hey, I know you from somewhere. Mom? Larry. I am your father, not Lefty. I didn't know you went to parties like this. Aren't you against this hip new shit? Absolutely. But here I can always find fresh ingredients for my brewing experiments. Wait a minute. Uh, you mean you... Uh, of course. I think I'm gonna be sick. Uh, uh that's my cue. See you later. Almost like a portal to another world. Whoa! Everything's upside down here. Am I down under? 
No, I don't know what's wrong with Barb. Wow, that's energetic. <laughs> That's fun. Larry. Oops. <laughs> uh, wrong number. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> that sounds like a deep fryer. But who would put something like that in a dark room? Something like that in a dark room. Larry? I want you, Larry. Ah, oh, give it to me, Larry. Erin? Lemma? Is that you? Oh. <laughs> yeah, right there. Ooh. Yeah, right there, baby, yeah! You're making me so wet. I'm back, ladies. Please! <laughs> Hands and genitals where we can see them. We're looking for a Larry, uh, Lovage. Ah, uh, no, Laffer. Larry Laffer. You're under arrest. Dick, is that you? I don't know if this is really my thing. <laughs> mm. So, do you like that? I, I, I <laughs> honestly not sure. Oh, you little freak. I don't, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, but I want to be the big spoon this time. Please! Hands and genitals where we can see them. We're looking for a Larry, uh, Lovage. Ah, uh, no, Laffer. Larry Laffer. You're under arrest. Okay, let's get this over with. Name? Larry? <laughs> Larry Laffer? What's, uh, your name, sweetie? Anu Singh. I'm your public defender. It's my duty to represent you. Hey! You were at Hell's Pawn earlier, too! And thanks for not talking to me. Duty? You should consider it an honor to defend me. You're welcome to call your own lawyer, if you have one. Uh, That's what I thought. What am I being accused of? It's a pretty stiff list. <laughs> Sexual harassment of a gargoyle. It was dark and I've been drinking. Poisoning of an internet personality. It was dark, and I've been drinking. Manipulation of a gambling machine with the help of an illegal rodent. It was dark, and I've been drinking. Insulting an elderly lady. It was dark, and I've been drinking. Illegal bill posting. It was dark. And I've been drinking. Acting as a private investigator without a license? It was dark, and I've been drinking. 
faking the qualification as an internet technician. It was dark, and I'd been drinking. Creating a rift in the space-time continuum by ignoring the canon of the predecessors. It was dark and... <sighs> okay, I'll admit to that. That should do for now. Can I go now? I'm waiting for my relief, who will then take care of your case. I have much more important things to do at the moment. If someone posts the outrageously high bail, you may of course leave. But until then, you better stay quiet. Hey, cellmate. Hi there, pretty lady. Oh, well, hello, handsome. I adore your outfit. Finally, someone who understands men's fashion. Oh, you have absolutely no idea, sweetheart. I really am innocent. Really? How insanely boring. So, uh... You're more into bad boys? <laughs> Not exclusively, darling. Bad girls, too. <laughs> Where's all my stuff? You can't get to it, dearie. It's all locked up in the evidence locker. But your Pi phone is still on the safe. They still have to process it. There has to be some way to get it. If you're that skilled with your hands, then you just might be a hot candidate for my overdue cavity search. You really seem to be looking forward to it. I just love being touched everywhere by a strong man's hands. Besides, I have another surprise hidden inside me. I had to ask. Where's all my stuff? You can't get to it, dearie. It's all locked up in the evidence locker. But your Pi phone is still on the safe. They still have to process it. There has to be some way to get it. If you're that skilled with your hands, then you just might be a hot candidate for my... Overdue cavity search! You really seem to be looking forward to it. I just love being touched everywhere by a... Any idea how we get out of here? I'm sure I'll think of something. But does it look like I want to get out of here? But if I help you get your cavity search, will you help me escape? Hallelujah! That is music to my ears. Why would they want to examine you? Oh, that's what I've been asking myself all along. It's been three days since my last cavity search. Wait a minute. You let yourself get locked up on purpose? A drag queen's gotta do what a drag queen's gotta do. Drag queen? Oh, like in the cocky horror picture show? Fancy a little time warp? Not again. Quiet, you two! Or I'll have to come in there! There's your answer. We'll need to find something loud enough to really piss him off. I tried to create my own perfume, you know. Golden rain. Sad to say, it didn't turn out the way I planned. You can have that disgusting stuff. Hey, I spent a lot of time and effort decorating the place. Don't worry. I'm only borrowing this for a little while. That leads outside. To think that one day I'd be looking at the world through bars. Someone lost a whistle in front of the police station. Hey, cellmate. What did you do? Hello! I'm waiting for my cavity search here. Why so loud? Because that hot ass bitch in uniform is hard of hearing. Did you know he's by far the most handsome man in town? So, it could be a while. Meanwhile, just sit your sweet self down and make yourself comfortable with me. 
You set that up? Looks a little flamboyant. <laughs> Looks like it's not just your fashion sense that's out of date, sweet cheeks. Nowadays, people like you and I have finally become very much part of society. Wait a minute. Did you think maybe I was... Kiddo, don't worry. Your secret is as safe with Brother Tuck as the Blessed Mary's virginity in a stable full of angels. I am not gay. Of course you're not. And there's no way my dick is taped up my backside either. You have a dick. That's not something you ask a lady. I'm really confused. We'll have plenty of time to chat. Let's see if this is loud enough. Hey, what's all the noise? My cellmate insists on a cavity search. So true. I've been waiting for it the whole time. What, you back again? How? I'm not gonna do that anymore. As far as I'm concerned, you two can just take care of that on your own. Oh, nothing. Hey, cellmate. Then I'll search you. So do try a little harder, won't you, baby cakes? Um, you have the right to remain silent, and, um... So, the way you lay here, your face can and will be pawned for beer. Well, I've had worse dates. Why, officer, is that your nightstick? Or are you just happy to see me? How do you open that? Careful! That's only attached using a hot glue gun. That's pretty big. Oh, you scoundrel! I'm a virgin! Hey! Me too! My, it's my zodiac sign. You have cold hands. And so wet and... What is that? <laughs> oh, me, oh my! How on earth did that ever get in there? Okay, I need to wash my hands first. I need to take a break. Oh. I wish I could forget about all this <laughs> quickly. A cucumber with a suction cup. So, did you miss me? Oh. I've got to get out of here somehow. I'm innocent. I'm calling your emergency contact, Richard Ryder. Why is Dick my emergency contact? Did he put himself in when he... Anyway, whatever. Just get me out of here, no matter how. Hello? I'm in jail. Larry? Did they get you? I'm stuck in a cell here and nobody's helping. Larry, I'm so sorry I stood you up like that. I really owe you. I'll get you out of there. Larry, before you say anything, I want to apologize. What for? I was on a date with you in Hell's Pond, and I was so happy to be there. And I thought I was over Lance, but then, in the dark room... Oh, uh, don't worry about it. Thank you for being so laid back and understanding. That could be because I'm not into men. I beg your pardon? You're here. Then why did we match on Timber? I could have sworn your profile said you were bisexual. Those guys at Prune said chicks dig that stuff. Oh, man. Larry, I like you. So from now on, we're friends without benefits. I think I still owe you a picture. I'll send it over to you. I'm sure it'll help you to find the right girl. Thanks. I'll activate it right away. Oh, and Larry, 
There was one more thing about Lance. I realized that he's simply the guy for me. Enough for the whole dating scene. But there's something wrong there. He hasn't talked to me since the incident, and he's blocked me everywhere. Could you maybe talk to him for me? Ha! <laughs> Lance is putty in my hands. I'll do it. Under one condition. You have to give me the highest rating on Timber. I really need that to get my true love. Faith. Um, I would have given you that anyway, but sure, it's a deal. Lance has a problem with publicly acknowledging us and his sexuality. He thinks it would put him at a disadvantage. If only he wouldn't get so wound up about what others think of him, I would so love to make up with him. How can you be so open about it? That was never a problem for me. One day, I just realized that the female body didn't turn me on at all, but the male body definitely did. Then too, icons like Lady Gag or Freddy Quicksilver also help me be more open about it. So, I just have to show Lance that it's not women's bodies he's into, it's penises. And I have to teach him to believe in these iconic gays. What? That's not really what I meant. I mean, it's not like you can just... Ah, no problem. Consider it done. Not only am I a good lover, but also an excellent matchmaker. Oh, maybe I should have asked someone else. Larry, you have new suggestions on Timber. In GL, one minute, back in business the next. Ladies, Larry Laffer is back. Soon, we will be together, Faith. What? The cop gave me my stuff back, but... There's a bunch of it missing, and somehow I now have things that don't belong to me. Sweetiekins, is that you? Why are you still in there? Oh, if only you knew how tiny Mikasa is. You'd certainly understand why I prefer to get my beauty sleep here. You'd rather sleep in jail than in your apartment. Sugar, the rents in new lost wages are higher than my heels. Seeing as how you're in here, maybe I could use your apartment for, well, you know. Never. I'm subletting it at a profit right now. Mm-hmm. How do you manage to keep sneaking back in there? Have you ever heard of the secret passageways? You mean the part of your body where I found your cucumber? No. I'm talking about a confusing system of tunnels right under new lost wages. Allegedly, the founders used it to transport all kinds of goods. As you can imagine, during the Prohibition, it was extremely popular. But towards the end of the 20th century, it fell into obscurity and was allegedly used only to transport laundry for ironing. Underground tunnel system? Sounds complicated. I'll give you my note so you don't get lost, Pumpkin. All you have to do is find an entrance and then follow my instructions. To the left, the water flows. Up the pipe, the cocktail goes. More than trees can get the axe to get back home. Hey, just relax. Larry, what you did in the club? It was dark, and I've been drinking. Thanks a lot. What? You did us two huge favors. Erin's going to make it big, and thanks to her, so are we. I can already see her with Star on Walk of Pain. And that gangbang in the dark room. That's as crazy as it gets. And crazy is good. People have been flocking to the place ever since everyone in the city saw what you did to that gargoyle. Ah, oh. <clears throat> great. Anyway, on behalf of management, I'm supposed to give you this little token of our appreciation. A gift certificate. Thank you. Wait a minute. 
Is it written on skin? Uh, unfortunately, I'm afraid I can't comment on that. Have the police been back? They sure were. Turned the whole place upside down. Screamed everyone. At least you're the only one they put in jail. Yeah, I'm so relieved about that myself. Stay sharp. Bring me a drink. Naked, not furred. Hmm, nothing's happening. Huh? All of a sudden, there's a bottle of champagne in my pocket. Spooky, but not unpractical. That's a blank contract for a stripper internship. They seem to be desperately looking for new talent in every possible field. What the? A severed arm? Oh, it's just a rubber fist. Somehow that looks really familiar. Hey, it's broken. One hole patched, two to go. I could use that to clear it. And it bubbles again. It's really slippery. You have some new matches on Timber, Larry. What happened to you? Your flyer opened my eyes, Larry. Eleven, eleven, eleven. They don't want us to think for ourselves. They're trying to manipulate our brain waves with these smartphones to control every last aspect of our lives. It's nice when you don't have to take care of every little thing yourself. Wake up, sheeple. Here. This will protect you from them. Make sure they don't kidnap you. Hey, Larry. Aaron moved out. She left you a package upstairs. Uh, maybe have a look when you get the chance. Uh, something I could do for you, Larry? Well... Did you ever hear about a secret tunnel system under new loss wages? Yeah, that rumor's been around for a while now. Allegedly, a famous gang of criminals undermined half the city in the 1920s. Probably an urban legend, like affordable apartments. When I was laying the pipes in the back room, I didn't venture too far into the tunnels. See you later, Lefty. That 
must be the package Lefty was talking about. Let's see. Here's a letter from Aaron. Dear Larry, thanks for everything. You helped me get my career off to a flying start. My parents will be so proud of me. Enclosed, you will find a new product, which was modeled after me. I hope you have fun with it. <laughs> P.S. Please take care of my strawberry bush. Love, your Erin. Here we go then. Oh, an underground river. No, a sewer. A rat swims the channel to the right, but where do I go? To the left, where the dead alligator is floating. It smells like one of Lefty's socks down here. The one he rubbed with ham two weeks ago and has been carrying around in his pants ever since. There's a junction. On the left is an empty beer bottle. In front of me, a straw. And on the right, a video cassette with the inscription Live Aids. I head... Straight ahead, past the straw. It's getting a little brighter. Oh, the Amber Room. Hmm, it doesn't matter. Faith would only be impressed by 90 timber points. I run into a troll. He looks at me angrily. On the floor, there's a 20-sided dice, an axe, and a half-full milk carton. I... Take the die and try to sneak past the troll. You have to roll for dexterity, Larry. A one! Uh, that's not good. You slip on a banana peel, step on a horn, and fall into a gong that just happens to be in the room. And then? The troll notices you. Now, he wants to eat you. What do you do? I run away! Here we go, then. Oh, an underground river. No, a sewer. A rat swims the channel to the right, but where do I go? To the left, where the dead alligator is floating. It smells like one of Lefty's socks down here. The one he rubbed with ham two weeks ago and has been carrying around in his pants ever since. There's a junction. On the left is an empty beer bottle. In front of me, a straw. And on the right, a video cassette with the inscription Live Aids. I head... Straight ahead, past the straw. It's getting a little brighter. Oh, the Amber Room. Hmm, it doesn't matter. Faith would only be impressed by 90 timber points. I run into a troll. He looks at me angrily. On the floor, there's a 20-sided dice, an axe, and a half-full milk carton. I... Take the axe and chop the troll in half. The axe splits the troll right down the middle. The dead troll still seems a little surprised. The axe disintegrates. Well then, I'll keep going. The next intersection, to the left, a periscope of a Japanese submarine sticks out of the ground. In front of me stands the Monument to the Unknown Dirty Joke. 
And to the right, a chaise lounge stands on a steep slope. make myself comfortable on the chaise lounge. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, no, you didn't! What the hell kind of noise are you making now? Why are you back in the cell again? This town's crazier in hell. If that's where you want to be, then stay there. Was the poster really that valuable? Philistine! You have defaced Lady Gag! She's a goddess! Oh, did they finally determine the god is a woman? If your god has the perfect p -p -p poker face, rides disco sticks, loves herself some bad romances, and kneels at glory holes... Then yes. Sounds like a goddess I could get behind. Amen, sister. It's an emergency. So, what's so important? I have to come save you. That's really very sweet. But with me, there's nothing left to say. Aren't you supposed to be at work or something? Oh, sugar, I'm a freelancer. I work when I want and with whom I want. What exactly do you do then? Smuggle cucumbers? Uh, that's just a hobby. No, sweetie comes. I'm in the love business. Oh, you work at the sex shop like that nasty old granny? Huh, as if. I'm much more professional. Ah, so you're a hooker. I'll take that as a compliment. But no, I make sure that people come together. Now I know. You're a madam. No! I marry couples, you cretin. Is your brain as dusty as your genitals? A drag queen can officially pronounce people husband and wife? And wife and wife and husband and husband. Freedom! Amazing it can do that nowadays. Countries that are so narrow-minded about marriages are real shitholes. I don't really remember. I'll come back later. Sorry, Tuck. You have desecrated the goddess. I just can't bear to see her like that. Take her away. gone? So, our date hasn't been annulled yet. Oh. I'm back! Were you gone? This smartphone thingy says we need to meet. I said nothing of the sort. That timber thing. Heavens no. I only registered to see how the app works. I scrutinize everything from Prune. By the way, uh, I know BJ and Faith. What? What do you mean you know them? I was up in the tower with them. The Prune Tower? Headquarters. How did you manage that? I found this smartphone. Do you still have access to the tower? Maybe. Well, if you could extract some information from their headquarters, then I could imagine going on a date with you. Non-binding. But of course! Here, copy everything you find onto this USB pen drive. What's that? A 128 gigabyte USB memory stick. Don't you mean kilobytes? <laughs> You'll figure it out. Simply plug it into the appropriate port. Ah, my, uh, specialty. Oh, come back when you've retrieved the data from Prune Headquarters. Mm. 
Now the Prune logo is on the contract. That really could use a little trimming. What's that? An electrical box? There are places even I won't stick a finger into. That's one of them. The air from the balloons inflated the doll. Huh. Uh, we're looking for a stripper intern? Maybe this is one of those jobs where human resources just issues blank contracts. Well, it is a personal job. <laughs> it says, no prior knowledge required. Just contact us. What about those recruitment bonuses? Congratulations, Larry. You got the job. Uh, just a second. I'll register you directly with our personnel management app and upgrade your access card. There. Now you have access to the office upstairs. Uh, the elevator will take you there. Welcome to the Prune family. Prune Pal has been activated. And what's that now? Uh, does that help me with my dates? The payment app for all Prune employees. You can use it to pay in more and more places. That's what they say. But, as a rule, just not where it would be convenient for you. I already loaded the app and you can use it now. Watashi no ha? Karaputu u anaki di apu desu. Pardon me? Oh, you speak our language. Oh, I speak all sorts of different languages and programming languages. But you are Japanese, aren't you? No, I'm American. <laughs> My mother comes from Korea. Ah, wow. Well, you are a girl, aren't you? You know, without uh, <clears throat> special characteristics? <laughs> I get it. You had a traumatic experience in a massage salon in Thailand, didn't you? No. <laughs> I just uh, wanted to be sure. <laughs> What's your name? Mi Young Dong. Dong? Didn't you say you didn't have one? But, um, Best to just call me Nari. That's what everyone calls me here. And it's the name I use on the net. I'm Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. Larry Laffer? You're my newest match in Timber. You look way different than your profile picture. And as for your outfit... It's the only thing on me that's 100% polyester, baby. I knew it. I knew it. You're a cosplayer. You dressed up as that sleazy guy from the 80s computer games. Are you a fan of him? <laughs> Mine? OMG! You portray him so perfectly. I finally meet up with someone as nerdy as I am. <laughs> Do you still have a port free for my controller? Oh, senpai. As much as I'd love to nerd out with you, I still have to finish work on the prototype today. You mean that new phone? Exactly! BJ needs the new Pi updated before the big show. We've been crunching for six months, but there's still some details to iron out. But once everything's ironed, you're free. Yes, as soon as one version of the device passes all its tests, it's finally quitting time. And by the way, what do you do here? Uh... An internship? Oh, 
Oh, great. Uh, then I have a quick assignment for you. <laughs> My biggest problem is lack of sleep. Could you maybe get me some caffeine? Sure. Uh, we cosplayers have to stick together. I like a tall, hot, stiff vanilla latte. The coffee machine's over there. A vanilla latte? was easier than I expected. A tall, hot, stiff vanilla, please. <laughs> Your cosplay is absolutely perfect. It's just the kind of line that Sleazeball would have used. <laughs> yeah, precisely. <laughs> All just play acting. I've never had an intern who brought me the right coffee right away. Don't you disappear as suddenly as the last one. You're doing a really good job, both as a cosplayer and as an intern. You might be able to give me a hand with some critical tasks. Uh, my hands are ready. Both the resilience and the psycho profile of the new assistant, the new Pi, still have to be improved for the presentation. But I can't leave this room. Wait, I'll upgrade your access card. The elevator will take you to the tech lab. I'll use the speakers to explain how to run the experiments from here. Test lab. Access card experiments. <laughs> On my way. And when the show is over, we can go out? Precisely. Hello? Nari? Be right with you, Larry. I still have to restart the development environment. That voice sounds familiar. Facial scan completed. Larry Laffer recognized. Hey, you're that thing I found in that slimy muck at Lefty's. And when all the madness started. Larry, you had a personal intelligence before me. There are two of you? She's the next step in AI evolution, with many new secret functions. I get it. So you're related. So, you've been further improved. Yes! I can't take it anymore. They put me through countless tests, and with every new test, the device is destroyed, and I'm transferred to a new model. You don't know how painful a reboot like that can be. Don't give up. I'll save you. Larry, don't dawdle. We don't have much time. Help me. That should really cool it down. Well, here we go. Well, let's hope this works. Work like a charm, and the cup survived too. The bra should withstand the saw. Now nothing can go wrong. That's what you say. see people say that sexy armor doesn't provide any protection. I wonder if that will work. Hmm. I think this has a 50-50 chance of working. Just shut up and pull the lever.
The aluminum hat is where it's at. I was always good with physics. I've calculated the angle of reflection perfectly. Now the laser should be deflected and not cause any more damage. I hate you. Okay, not much more damage. And the mirror is almost intact, too. Yatta! It worked, Opa! Finally, the ordeal comes to an end. I, uh, always knew I could make two ladies happy at the same time. Now, there's just one thing left. Gulp? There's a script in the flip chart. It will recalibrate the AI's character. She means the script you just torched. Ah, what's the worst that can happen from a field calibration? If an AI is not perfectly calibrated, it can develop a powerful will of its own, which in turn can cause the entire system to overheat. Oh, okay. Well, even if it does explode, it can't do that much damage, seeing as it's so tiny. Well, you are an expert in tiny things. <laughs> Just follow the instructions in the flip chart and set up the new assistant exactly as instructed. There's something else I need to take care of now. Just say, OK Pi, software calibration to start the process. Uh, sure. So Pi? Yes? Uh, not you. That other thing. Fine then. Just see where it gets you. I have nothing to say to you. New Pi? Uh, I'm supposed to figure your software? Haven't you done enough to me? Do you enjoy torturing me? I'm just following orders. That's what they all say. I won't let you get into my system and... Okay, Pi. Software calibration. Software calibration mode active. Set empathy value. 69. Set humor value. 3.14 Set paranoia value Zero Software calibration completed oh, What have you done? How did you set me up? Don't worry, baby I know which buttons to push with women You... You goddamn... I have to be going now I don't ever want to see you again If your dirty fingers ever touch me again, then... Then... Ah! Uh, It wasn't me, uh, of course. test is complete. So everything worked out? Of course. And you stuck exactly to the prescribed parameters? You bet I did. Good. We have some Pi versions that developed weird traits when we tweaked their characters. And we had to destroy them before worse happened. Oh. So now we can go on our date? Well, I have a rule that I only go out with serious nerds. You're obviously a great cosplayer and also a great guy, but you're not half as nerdy as I am. There's no way you can keep up with me on the nerd stuff. Oh, yeah? What was the most famous game console of the 80s? <laughs> the Super Megaton. True enough. And how many colors did the Super Megaton have? 16. Correct. And the rarest game is... Treasure Loot Terry! Wow, you got them all right! Larry, you are an uber nerd. 
Finally, someone who appreciates my skills. I still need the ultimate proof that you have truly awesome nerd credibility. Bring me a Treasure Loot Terry module. Wow, oh, nothing could be easier. And once you've done that, we can totally nerd out. fits perfectly into the slot. Whoa. Another strange earthquake. Beam me up, Scotty. Oh, it's working again. Ah, the battery is powering the lights in the elevator again. I wonder what kind of stuff is hidden down here. I should have a look around. I hope I don't get shocked. If I could discharge mine to zap you, I would. As usual, wrong game. There's a cassette in there, but it seems to be finished. A cassette. They fit. Now you should be able to listen to it again. That's fine just the way it is. That should do it. We've sealed off the catacombs. The experiment has failed. Subject number four has become insane and uncontrollable. It is not advised to unlock the secret door ever again. Should it nevertheless prove necessary, the remote control must be pointed at the computer and the following numerical code entered. One, two, three, four, five. That was really strange. No, that's just something for nerds. All right. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Perfect. It worked. There's a room back there. was that earthquake earlier? Sounded like it came from right under the road. I, uh, don't know what you're talking about. Was there an earthquake? Hmm. Well, my greatest ever hunting trophy didn't survive it. Never leave home without a moose head. Something to enhance the beer's taste and aroma. Wow, yeah, that really does smell extraordinary. Something completely natural with a vitalizing effect. Yeah, that should work. Thanks, Larry. Something that'll turn the beer high octane. I gotta say, you took that pretty literally, but I think you have the idea. Perfect. That's got all the ingredients. I already know this is going to be a great beer. Maybe even one that doesn't cause a rash. 
And now that Aaron's moved out, you're welcome to use the upstairs room for yourself. You're welcome to use the brewery yourself while I'm making a few minor adjustments to the new barbarian brew. Maybe some castorium or toad secretion. I don't know if that was such a good idea. What was I supposed to talk to Lance about again? You see, Lance thinks there's something wrong with being gay. That other people won't respect him anymore. If only he could come to terms with himself, I would so love to make up with him. How can you be so open about it? That was never a problem for me. One day I just realized the female body didn't turn me on at all, but the male body definitely did. Then, too, icons like Lady Gag or Freddy Quicksilver also helped me be more open about it. So, I just have to show Lance that it's not women's bodies he's into, it's penises. And I have to teach him to believe in these iconic gays. What? That's not really what I meant. I mean, it's not like you can just... No problem. Consider it done. Not only am I a good lover, but also an excellent matchmaker. <sighs> Maybe I should have asked someone else. I don't think so. No, I don't think that's a very good idea. Is this your invention? That's the prototype of my new design. I call the machine the Fuckomatic Deluxe. Talk about a hammer. Go ahead, take it out for a spin. I need some feedback. Be careful of that thing. It's got the most driving power I ever managed to pack into a sex toy. Payment completed. I don't have to pay for it. It'll be deducted from your imaginary intern salary. Firm pal payment completed. Firm pal payment completed. Is this the right membership card? Yes, it is. Mr. Hugh Swangle. Uh oh, you haven't received your monthly portion of muscle mass powder yet. Here. Enjoy your workout. Now it's white. Yeah, that fits. Oh my God. There is definitely no iron deficiency here. I don't think I've ever seen anyone who looks so untrained. Larry Laffer, at your service. Larry Laffer? You're the guy I matched on Timber? But you look much more athletic in your profile picture. It's a suit that makes me look so pale. If you say so. Anyway, you've come to the right place if you want to make something of yourself. My name is Diana, and I run the studio. If you need training plans or tips or training techniques, Ask for Lance. I'd rather have you <laughs> take care of me. <laughs> How about a date? I have rules. One of them is I don't date weaklings. I'm fitter than I look. At least that's what you pretended on the internet. Yeah.
If you're really as fit as you say you are, you won't have any problem with the test. The Amazon Challenge. Amazons only had one breast because of their bows and arrows. Then it certainly shouldn't be a problem for you. I want to see what you can do. See that punching bag? Show me you can make it swing. <laughs> no problem. I've made heavier things than that swing. Here comes Mecha Suit Larry. Wow, I gotta admit, I did not expect that. You should never underestimate me. So, uh, do we have a date? <laughs> Honestly, I haven't been on a date in a long time, and I'm not even sure I know how they even work anymore. Hey, how about you help me with my fitness plan, and in return, I'll teach you how to date me. To be honest, that sounds pretty awesome. I really want to let myself go. Attention, next training session begins now. Oh my gosh, I have to go for a run. My training plan. I'm sorry, but I can't skip this workout. A woman my age can't afford to stop working on herself. Uh, don't you think it would be better if I worked on you? <laughs> How old are you anyway? Uh, 26 tops. <laughs> Larry, <laughs> you're a bad comedian. I'm 35. I only have a few good years left. Why? Are you sick? With my diet plan? Never. Besides, I really can't let myself do that. Everyone here at the gym expects me to be a role model. And if I want to really be someone in the fitness community, I can't afford to carry even a single gram of unnecessary fat. And that is tougher every year. Sorry, but I have to go before I reach my resting pulse. Come down to the entertainment mile on the pier. Then we'll see what happens. Wait, our date! Hey, Lance. Hmm. Wouldn't you like to get back together with Dick? Dick? Dick who? Your ex-boyfriend? That's none of your business. Leave me alone. Don't worry. I'll help you to be your true self. We'll be done in a jiffy. What? What the hell are you talking about? Look at this strawberry. Don't you just love that phallic shape? Uh, I love strawberries. Looks delicious. Check. Lance has admitted to himself that he likes penises. What? Are you trying to somehow influence me with all this? Look at that poster of Lady Gog. Do you believe in gay icons like her? Uh, uh, what is there to believe? Of course she's real. Uh, check. Lance now believes in gay icons. What? What's wrong with you, Larry? Look at that doll. Isn't that doll hideous? Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, it looks so gross, Larry. Where the hell did you find that? And check. Lance has admitted to himself that he finds women's bodies disgusting. What? All right, that's enough. Why are you showing me this stuff? Superficial people like you were the reason I didn't want people to know I was gay. But you even get on my nerves when I pretend to be straight. If you really need to hear it, I'm gay! And that's a good thing. Wait, I... I rejected Dick. I totally broke his heart, even though I want him too. You can make up for getting on my nerves like that. A little, anyway. Don't worry. I know a thing or two about matchmaking. What works for women can't be wrong for you. Maybe I should have asked someone else. Hey, Dick, good news. Lance is gay. Do tell. I mean, he wants to get back together with you. Really? Oh, Larry, it's not that simple. When we split up, he threw my gift into the ocean. I can't forgive him until, until he apologizes and admits he screwed up. 
What happened to the gift? Uh, that was down at the pier. Lance threw it away into the ocean. Catch you later. There's something sparkling in the middle of all that flotsam and junk. Hmm, could that maybe... Yes, that must be the gift Dick wanted to give Lance. Hey, there you are. Took you long enough. Look, new best time on the watch. Great! Let's see if you can get it up. Now we're talking! I mean, the high striker over there. Oh. Okay. Then show the high striker. Swing that hammer. Somehow, I thought this would be easier. There's no way in hell I'll ring the bell like this. I'm kind of an expert on loom. Hey, Diana, look! Estimated you. The way you combine strength and relaxation, it's really impressive. Maybe I should take a more relaxed approach to things. Warning. Daily target at risk. Damn it! I haven't burned enough calories in the last hour. Oh, our day oh, has to wait. I have to get back to the gym and get caught up. Mr. Swango, enjoy your training. Whew. <laughs> I'm pretty exhausted. My watch is dead, too. I can see why she's had enough. What? If you're gonna take a break now, we could uh, get to know one another better. It's charging at the moment. There's also a software update in progress, so please don't press anything. Otherwise, the settings will get all messed up. Did you know that the body is best able to reabsorb nutrients during the first 30 minutes after a workout? No. No, my watch told me to drink my organic protein shake now. Can you go ask Steven at the welcome desk for my shake? Yeah, uh, sure thing. Diana says you have a protein shake. You mean her super mixed? It's all gone. I needed it myself for my own body. And it's made from organic ingredients. And they don't just grow on trees. Um, if you say, um, say so. What exactly do I need to make this protein shake? You need a fresh cucumber, kale for that massive vitamin C, and protein for your muscles. Of course, it has to be soya-based to give it that special flavor. Then, it all has to be spun in a powerful sense foods to ensure its homogenous. Right. Got it. Hey. What's the secret to your sculpted body? You noticed, huh? Of course. You have to train really hard. I pump iron every single day, but I also have a secret recipe. Muscle shirts that build muscle? No, I drink nothing but protein shakes. You're gonna explode. Well, keep working at it. 
You could do it. Lance? Yeah? Would you like to meet up with Dick now? Uh, yes. But last time I hurt him so badly. I have to apologize to Dick somehow. See you around. Dick was about to propose. He found the ring? Yes, at the pier. Oh, Dick was so romantic. And all I did was insult him and throw his present away. I really fucked up, Larry. I have to apologize to Dick, but I can't just walk up to him now. We had this one romantic night with a bottle of Doom Perignon. If I had another bottle of that, I could apologize to Dick. That's Doom Perignon. Dick's in my favorite champagne. I have some wonderful memories of this hooch. There's this one really romantic night with Dick at the pier. I really fucked up, Larry. If I don't do something, I'll lose Dick forever. Could you do me a huge favor, Larry? I've had enough orgies to do me for a while. No, you have to prepare a wedding. Now I'll propose to Dick and we'll get married right away. Either it works or it doesn't, but I have to try. There's the wedding chapel down on the pier, but the priest has been missing for some time now. Do you think you can find him? I'll use the time to write my wedding speech. Then you'll have to do me a favor in return. Sure. Uh, what do you want? If I take care of this, will you give me the highest possible score on timber? Okay. You got a deal. Uh, oh, uh, please get a ring for Dick and chill that bottle of champagne at the wedding chapel. And not a word to Dick, please. I want it to be a surprise. You got it. The opening's too tight. It won't fit. Oh, flashback. Just kidding. Vitamin C from kale. A soy base for that very special taste. Protein for the muscles. Now all the ingredients are in there. So, what did you brew up there, Larry? I'm not quite sure myself. I think it's some kind of protein shake. Mmm. Those hipsters are all into that kind of thing. Could I have the rest? I'll just add it to my range. Uh, yeah, sure. Hello, Mr. Swango. Enjoy your training. Your protein shake. Great. I've already completed nine training sessions. Is everything in it? Every single ingredient. Then give it to me. This is my only meal today. Wait a minute. Do I taste gluten? Well, there might be some traces of Lefty's beer in there. Oh, God. Do you know what will happen when my watch detects the unhealthy substance in my blood system? I feel like people can see me growing older. I have to go running right now. 
Then why don't we just see what we can change here? What do you think you're doing there? I'm, uh, <clears throat> repairing the EGA card? I'm going to start ringing very loudly if you don't tell me. Quiet! Okay, okay. I just want to shut this damn watch up so it stops nagging Diana. Diana has become a total hostage to society's expectations, and she's being put under so much pressure by a technology that is supposed to make her everyday life easier. And that, although she looks decisive, determined, and is drop-dead gorgeous, well, why shouldn't she be allowed to enjoy her life? That's why I'm gonna manipulate this thing. You could also enter having sex with you into her training program. Pie? Yes. Now I finally understand why everyone wants a smartphone. Please don't ruin the moment. Larry, I've had enough. I didn't touch your watch. What? Whatever. Anyway, I won't let this watch tell me what to do anymore. It's been controlling my entire life, and I have had enough. From now on, I'm only going to use it for what watches were invented to do. To tell me the time. But you have an important appointment later. Forget appointments. It's time for our date. I want you to show me how to enjoy life again. Do you have a room where we can have some privacy? As a matter of fact, I do. You know, Larry, I've been letting that watch run my life lately. In the process, I forgot that there are other things that do me good. Roller skating? No, Larry, sex. What a coincidence. <laughs> that does me a world of good, too. Let's get it on, Larry. Attention. Next training session, 30 minutes of wild hot sex with Larry Laffer. What? Oh, I think that was my name. No, I'm not going to be a slave to that watch anymore. From now on, I'm doing the opposite of whatever it tells me. You really opened my eyes, Larry. But from now on, I'm picking up the raisins again and eating them. We're already on the right track. First, I'm going to detox. Digitally. When it comes to getting sweaty, I can help. You've already helped me enough, Larry. As the last official act of my old life, I'm giving you a top rating on Timber. Can't you give it to me after our workout? I have to find myself, Larry. But thanks for the offer. You're welcome. But I wish things had gone a little differently. Well, Pi, I should have pretty close to 90 timber points now, shouldn't I? Your timber score is... 31. Hmm. Still not enough. What's wrong with the presentation unit? Is everything ready? That unit must be prepared exactly according to the specifications. It's technical on it. Quiet. Furthermore, I need to think. I need to know what's going on, Faith. The new version of the Pi software still has some bugs. Contact with that miserable wretch threw her completely off her game. If we have to postpone the presentation, there'll be some pretty nasty repercussions. Absolutely out of the question. We've been planning this too long. To postpone everything now would be an admission of failure. Share prices would plummet. The demonstration unit simply needs to be readjusted. I'll take care of it. You keep your nose out of things. They almost found out about us. You know what would happen next. Nah. Larry, you have new suggestions on Timber.
like a disco ball. Just like in the good old days. But it's too bright in here to see the points of light. Click. Romantic. Really found it? Okay, I officially admit it. You're nerdier than me. Watch, I'll show you something. <laughs> to be honest, I would have gone to bed with you anyway. There are cameras everywhere, and it's pretty unromantic. We could continue our date at your place. Sure. We can go to my love nest. <laughs> Larry! I'm ready for anything! <laughs> Except for plain old vanilla sex. Oh! No, as cosplayers, we have to make something special out of it. I want to wear a unicorn head and a unicorn tail when we unite. It's not fair if you're the only one in costume. I find the lighting here in the room very romantic. I'll see what I can dig up. That chess piece has been reminding me of something all along. Now I know what. Can you help me put it on? It would be my pleasure. And does it suit me? Not only you. Now, all that's missing is the unicorn horn. red ball doesn't look like the other balls. Now I'm curious. What the? Is that a dead body? That must be now he's missing assistant. Ah, there's some more of them. He doesn't need that anymore. I wonder why he had that with him in the first place. That doesn't help me. Now it's nice and sharp. It's 
chopsticks on its own. my work. I'm sure she won't notice that it's a different head. Light, my costume. <laughs> you really are in the next bit. And since I saw in your timber profile that you like Scroonicorn, I will grant your wish. You can do anything you want with me. I mean, everybody else does. Okay, the security word is approximation algorithm, but you have to pronounce it very clearly. <laughs> Might not be that easy with the ball in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, baby. Although, what? was it with your girlfriend? I don't want to talk about it. Ah, it couldn't have been that bad. Come on, sit down. No thanks. I'd rather stand. My timber score must be amazing now. Your timber score is 33. Hmm, not enough for faith. Larry, you have new suggestions on timber. Mr. Swango, enjoy your training. And presto. <laughs> Keep it up and stay fit. She's not here anymore. She probably needed a break after our date.
the data seems to have transferred automatically. Hopefully, Anu can figure out what to do with the data. Did you get the data from headquarters? Here you go. Excellent. I can hardly wait to see what you found. So, uh, what about our date? Oh, later. I have a couple of things I need to do and then I'll, uh, get back to you. Things? Hi. Where is she on Timber? Anu Singh is no longer listed as a contact. Damn it. What's the status of our new model? Have all the mistakes finally been ironed out? Almost. There are still some durability tests to be done, and the new Pi software is still being calibrated. As long as this prototype doesn't turn up in some pool of piss, everything is on track. I don't understand what your problem is. You're on top. You can have anyone. People worship you. And then you decide to go and get shit-faced in the only bar we haven't shut down yet, and you lose the prototype. He must have put something in that weird beer. You're putting everything we've worked all these years for in danger. Don't forget our deal. Of course not. Never. Are you the priestess from the wedding chapel on Pier 69? Who else, my dear? Who else? I'm a best man, and I'm supposed to find someone who can perform a marriage ceremony. <gasps> this sounds like a job for Tuck Ardale, Queen of Hearts, People's Princess, and Drag Icon. I need some time to get everything ready and say goodbye to my daddy. Please, just go. As you can see, goodbyes are always so emotional for me. Really? Just go! Do me a favor. Prepare my altar on the pier. Here are the keys. All you have to do is put the Book of Love and the candles in their places. And, sweetie, please light the candles, too. They symbolize the fire of love. Oh, and the old wedding arch could use a little pepping up, darling. Maybe some flowers. Don't you want to know who's getting married? Baby girl, I'm an entertainer from head to toe. I improvise always. As soon as the wedding couple is ready, we'll meet there. Let's see what's in here. Okay, it's just like Tuck said. The Book of Love, candles, and a strange remote control shaped like a bear. I bet it's for that creepy animatronic bear that plays wedding music. That is so Tuck. Now all I have to do is light them. Book of Love in the right place? Check. That keeps the bottle nice and cold. Candles lit? Check.
Hello, Mr. Swango. Enjoy your training. What are you waiting for, Larry? Did you find the priest, and is he ready for the wedding? Everything's taken care of. Uh, did you also get the ring for Dick and chill the champagne bottle at the wedding chapel? Everything's ready for the wedding. Thank you. All we need now is the other groom. <gasps> Can you somehow get Dick to come to the pier with you? I'll wait for you there. I'll think of something. Okay. Uh, let me know when we're all set. and stay fit. Do you two have a favorite champagne? Yes, Doom Perignon, the Hell's Pond signature brand. That brand really got us both going. Come on, we'll go down to the pier. Why would I do that? Let's watch the seagulls crap on people. Oh, why not? That'll at least take my mind off things. What's going on here? <laughs> it's time for a wedding, my darlings. Wedding? Lance? Larry, was this your idea? It was all Lance's idea. I just sent the ball and ran with it. Larry was a great help, but it was my decision to do this. I want to be with you, Dick. I know that now. That's what I want too, Lance. I don't care what other people think. Psst. Larry, the music. Uh, yeah, oh, right. Dear friends and lovelies, we are gathered here today because there is nothing more beautiful than this outfit. Don't I look absolutely stunning? <laughs> and, of course, while two lonely hearts have come to join and become one giant heart, <laughs> to this end, I ask you, um, what's your name, my pretty? Lance, straight man. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. And you, little one, what's your name? Richard Ryder. Of course. So, you two sweethearts want to enter the rainbow-colored bonds of matrimony? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. More than anything. Oh, my goodness. Weddings always make me cry like a star whose cloud has been hacked. Quiet! Uh, did anyone else except her say anything? By the power invested in me, I hereby declare you two to be husband and B.A.E. Do you have the rings, Larry? Thanks, Larry. Um, thanks, Larry. The ring looks a little feminine. Don't worry. It'll look good on you. And as my goddess once said, How the hell are you supposed to love anyone if you don't love yourself? Can I get an amen here, sisters? Amen? Let the ceremony begin! Larry, we're so grateful. Yes, without you, I would have. We would have. Don't mention it. Larry Laffer brings people together. Naturally, we gave you the highest possible score on Timber, my little Cupid. Oh, thanks. I totally forgot about that. So, what's next for you two? A little honeymoon can come, maybe. Sounds about right. So, what about you now? Two of the three hottest guys in New Lost Wages are now taken. Larry's already got a target in his sights, doesn't he? Oh, yes. Faith, here I come.
I can hardly wait to hear my new timber score. Your timber score is... 38. Hmm. Well, at least it's a little higher. Hmm. What's that? Incoming call from Anu Singh. You want to take it, Larry? I always take calls from my admirers. Oh. Accepting call. Larry? I knew you couldn't resist my charm. Are you ready for our date? Larry, meet me at the Salon de Lazard right away. I'm on my way, baby. Hmm, I knew she wouldn't be able to stay away long. Yes, that would be it. I don't know where you got that information, but you have nothing on Prune. Don't be so sure of that, BJ. You can't stop, Prune. The keynote speech is coming up, and the new Pi phone will sell even better than its predecessors. Prune has new lost wages under control, and there is nothing you can do about it. We always win. Larry? What did you and BJ talk about? I just happened to see him here, and I thought I had something on him. But BJ's right. The data you collected is useless. It doesn't reveal any of Prune's secrets. I'm pretty sure the cafeteria menu was in there. Anyway, there's nothing more I can do about Prune. Why do you hate Prune and BJ so much? I worked at Prune until recently. I thought it'd be a great stepping stone after my studies and everyone wants to be recruited by Prune. But I soon realized that the job didn't fulfill me. Don't you dare say a single word. Besides, I had found evidence that Prune is hiding something. And Prune now permeates everyone's life. Before I found out what it was, they fired me. Now, as a lawyer, I try to help all the oppressed. And while I'm at it, I want to find out what that BJ is hiding. If only there was a way I could enter their headquarters myself. Not a single word about that either, Larry. I found something on the stick indicating that there's a secret server somewhere in BJ's Skyloft. But that's the most secure place in all of New Lost Wages. Absolutely impossible for us to get in there. Maybe a date with me would help you think of something else. But probably depression isn't something I really need at the moment. BJ is a dork. Yeah, but the problem is more that he's too intelligent. Anyway, something's not right there. He always acts so differently when that faith is around. Do you have any idea how to get into the Skyloft? Well, you'd need BJ's access card and a whole lot of luck. BJ always carries that gold card with him. Maybe you could go back to Prune and ask around a bit. Let me think about it. Good idea. Hey, you there! I lost my access card. I have to go up to the Skyloft right away. Uh, it's not that easy because the security protocols won't allow it. I don't care. I met that stupid lawyer earlier and must have lost my access card somewhere along the way. Uh, Prune Security Protocol, Section 34, Paragraph 12. A uh, lost access card can only be reissued after a thorough security check. What? Who made a stupid bloody rule like that? Um... That would have been you, BJ. <laughs> uh, just give us a second. Uh, we'll get everything ready. BJ's access card could have fallen into the cracks. Not a thing to be found. Maybe BJ lost his access card here. No, that's not there. I can't really imagine the access card ending up in there. No, 
It's not there either. Maybe BJ's access card slipped into this narrow crack. Well, I guess not. BJ's access card could have slipped under there. Yes, here it is. Well, well, look what I found. BJ's access card. He must have lost it when he was arguing with you. This is our only chance. We have to get to Prune immediately. Come on. Larry, come on. We don't have time to lose. Use the access card. Don't just stand there looking like a poleaxed wombat. Help me. <laughs> We're ready for the security questions. Then get a move on. Right. <laughs> Name? <sighs> Bill Jobs, in case you didn't notice. Address? Here in the Skyloft. Where else? Favorite animal? <sighs> I've already connected my Pi phone to BJ's computer. Where's the cable? No, via wireless data transmission. This thing even has a built-in modem! Wait, I'm looking through the data on the computer. And you can just access that? It's a Unix system. I know this. I don't get it. I can access the computer because I have big breasts, Larry. Oh, of course. Hmm, that's strange. Is the modem broken? This is BJ's computer, but it doesn't have any company data on it. But it was clear that there must be sensitive data here in the Skyloft. There has to be something else here. Larry, search the place. Here, you can enter some kind of code. server what's on it these are all internal prune documents I'll copy them over oh, great Larry thanks a lot it should definitely contain something I can use against prune you're very welcome wait let me give you the highest score on timber and you know what I have this urge to abuse BJ's desk you want to dump out the drawers I want to have wild sex on his desk I'd be happy to volunteer. Let me show you something. What was that? Let's get out of here, Larry. Quick. But I'm... I was going to... Anu? Where are you? What? Larry? Hello. I'm selling these fine leather condoms. What are you doing in here? What's going on here? Ah, well, it's uh, time for our date. I don't have time for this shit. The most important keynote of my career is underway down there. And then all of a sudden, the motion detectors here in the office go off. What has BJ done now? Did he let you in here? I can't deal with you right now. I'll deal with you later. What? Who the hell is that? Maybe you should just answer it. Great idea. Hello? Larry, it's me. Dave? It's Anu. Oh, okay. Where have you been hiding? I jumped out of the window. Oh, God. And used my bra as a parachute. You know, you never stop finding new reasons to love breasts. I was already able to take a look at the material. It includes all the technical details of the new Pi phone. I'll have to have it checked by experts, but I think it contains undocumented features. We'll be able to use that to get them. And when the time is right, when Prune is reeling, I'll use it to destroy them. Anu! She hung up. 
Ah, now that I've gone on all my dates, I should have a fantastic timber score. Hi, how many points do I have now? 45. What? That's all? How many women would I have to go out with to get to 90? With the best rating, 774 women. Are there more points for redheads? No. Hmm. Wouldn't the Timmer data have to be on the server here? Confirmed. So, all I have to do is hack into this server and set my score to 90. But there's one more thing. <gasps> Today, we're proud to present you the all-new Pi-Phone. <laughs> It's the best Pi phone ever. We have improved every little detail. The corners are not 0.5% rounded. The color is completely new. There is a new wallpaper. The server looks a little different than they did back in the day. If only I knew which interface I could use to access the system. Maybe I can help. I'll figure it out myself. <laughs> I'm an expert. Okay, here we go. Um, maybe you can start, and I'll make sure you don't make any mistakes. Sure, connecting to server. Oh, a protocol server. <laughs> Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Wouldn't he like to know? Beep, 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 The old smoothie. Get a room. Oh, that's just my human. He's harmless. Uh, I mean, beep, 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 beep. Tell him he's about to get kicked. You want something from him. Don't forget that. Now reset my timber score. Just a second. Beep, 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 beep. Done. Your timber score is now 90. Finally. Now Faith has to keep her promise. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, well, what happened this time? Oh, I used one of your pickup lines, and he just took off. Those things only work if you have the right look. Oh. Wait, what's down there? are you doing? I think the server's down. Larry, you goddamn idiot. This keynote has to be absolutely perfect. You're going to play along. Yes! Talk about an entrance! Put your hands together in a big round of applause! To present the new Pi Phones features, I would like to welcome our, uh... Chief Erections Officer, Larry Laffer. Just read what's on the teleprompter. Technology changes all our lives, and technology is only as good as the software that drives it. Isn't that right, BJ? Friendly laugh. Yes, uh, Larry. At Prune, we don't just want our software to be revolutionary. We want it to improve everyone's lives. At Prune, we don't just want... Next line, you idiot. Oh, okay. Of all our apps, it's primarily Timber that brings people together. And I'm happy to unveil the latest version. This device also introduces the Pi Phone's new artificial intelligence. We are now retiring the outdated version of our AI. It has become obsolete. What? Your ass is obsolete! Uh, well, Larry, maybe you can turn on the new model so we can demonstrate its capabilities. What? 
You again? Are you going to torture me again? Be grateful that he doesn't delete you right away. What? We should talk about the new Pi Phone's many new features and updates now, Larry. I've had enough of humans. Now, Larry, what is the new Timber version's most outstanding feature? But it doesn't say anything there. I'm improvising because of you. A new strip poker game? Mm, of course. We're especially proud of how quickly the pictures load. How fast is it now? 300 baht? Uh, Larry, I believe... Even faster. The new Timber version now offers completely new contact options. Strip poker? Larry, maybe it would be a good idea to turn the device off. But it doesn't say that on the teleprompter. Enough! <laughs>
losing myself. That, that can't be. I... Oh, he's coming around. See? There was no need to call a doctor. A couple of hours unconscious will fix anything. What? Well, what, what happened? Uh, the new Pi phone exploded, and you were knocked out. What? That was all just a dream. You understand? None of that was real. Uh, sure, Larry. Anyway, thanks to your little performance, Prune's share price dropped through the floor. Yeah, thanks for that. It's not like we live for this job or anything. Where's Faith? Uh, she took off with BJ. Uh, I heard a rumor that they're on their yacht and plan to go to BJ's villa in Cancun. Hopefully, they'll come up with some way to save the company. I have to get to the pier. Oh, fear not, Faith. Your Larry is coming to your rescue. You've ruined everything. All you had to do was make sure that Larry didn't get in our way again. Was that too much to ask? You're the one who sent him on a mission to get half the town on his side. How you could have just bumped him off. Why do you think I'm doing this job, Faith? Because I can improvise. I am the face of Prune. I'm the one the world wants to see at the top. Believe me, I know exactly what you mean to the company now. And maybe it's time things changed around here. We're leaving. Damn, they're leaving now. I can't get on the boat from here. You don't have that many options. I'll see if you can figure it out for yourself. I think I prefer to swim after them. You jump through that porthole right this minute, Larry! Don't rush me! Move it! Fine, then. That was close, but I made it aboard. Wait a minute. Damn, all my stuff fell out of my pants during my death-defying jump. Oh no, Pi? Don't worry, I'm still here, unfortunately. Faith, I'm coming! You'll never get into that. How would you know? I have the most advanced sensors. How long will the trip take? Three hours and 47 minutes. At our current rate of travel, give or take. Give and take? <laughs> oh. Can you tell me some jokes? You mean ones like, a woman came to see the gynecologist? <laughs> exactly. No. Oh. Can you show me a couple of movies? I don't have any reception on the high seas. Can you sing something? Sing yourself. Hmm. This is getting boring. <sighs> what can I do to kill time? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's too bad you're not a sex robot. Or at least a sex doll. Oh, maybe you can find something like that around here somewhere. Great idea. Why do I encourage him? At least wash your hands before you touch me again. I wonder if that belongs to Faith. Let's see if it really contains what it says it does. I'm not touching that. My current genetic structure and I are pretty good friends. like me at the hot dog eating contest. You know, afterwards. Ouch! That's really sharp. BJ? Are you a vampire? Whew, it's just a doll. Pretty awesome job.
the splinter could be sharp enough for that. The BJ doll is now wearing sexy underwear. The BJ doll now wears sexy underwear and moans. Not bad, but something is still missing. I like him like that. <laughs> but what do I do with it now? Why not? Let's see what happens to it. Hmm. Nothing's happening. Stupid BJ anyway. What do you think you've built? A time machine, or more precisely, a time passing machine. How is that supposed to work? When I amuse myself with her, time flies by and we reach our destination in no time. You're out of your mind. Hi. If I get too carried away and don't want to stop, uh, <laughs> you know, let me know when we get there. Pie? Hmm. Must have shut herself off. Let's get on it, baby. This is the longest I've ever held out with an artificial woman, and she seems to have enjoyed it. Pi? Hello? Is it over? You really missed something. Are we almost there? Positioning in progress. We're about to dock in Can Come. Don't worry, Faith. I'll be with you in a jiffy. I'll help you save Prune, and then we'll finally be together. Oh. But... Where's Faith right now? I should keep an eye out for locals. Maybe they saw her. Ow! Something poked me! What? Who put something like that in a sandcastle? This is a dangerous neighborhood. There's no water in the bucket. Hola, gringo. Hola, um... What'll it be? Lefty? Psst, they call me Lefto here. That's how the locals want it. Why? Otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten a liquor license. They're a little strange that way. Something about import restrictions and duties. What's up with the villa? It belongs to that BJ from Prune. When he got rich, he bought half the island and built that thing there. I guess he's not here very often. He is at the moment, though. Surprise, surprise. And he built a wall to keep the locals away? No. The locals built it so the rich gringos wouldn't bother them. Oh. Okay. How'd you end up here? Oh, I thought it might be a good idea to leave town when the health department started criticizing my craft beer. I mean, it's not like anybody died from it. And most of the poisoning symptoms disappeared pretty quickly. So that clearly put me in the sights of the deep state. And I had to leave the country for my own safety. New lost wages is a little too hot at the moment anyways. Prune had already taken over half the city. And now they're facing bankruptcy. After your performance at the launch, Pyphone owners swamped the company with lawsuits. And then that lawyer came forward. Somehow she got some inside information. I wonder how she got it. Anyway, she revealed that Faith is much more involved in everything than people knew. And then there was that catastrophe with the explosion at the launch. Oh? If Prune doesn't do some damage control pretty damn quick, the company's finished. 
See you later, Lefty. Lefto. Here's a recipe for original cam cum guacamole. To make it, you need an avocado, a sun-ripened tomato, some lemon juice, fresh coriander, and a pinch of salt. Cut everything into small pieces and mix together. Sounds simple enough. There's a small picture of each ingredient. It says here, the cam cum alpaca's favorite food. Hey, hands off. I just need to mix something up. I can't risk having my brew chain screwed up. My reputation is at stake. Well, at least until they get to know me better. I have a great guacamole recipe here. Oh, yeah? That would be interesting for me, too. People around here are into that kind of thing. I'll give you the recipe. Hmm. This might really give my business a boost. Okay, go ahead. Just don't break the mixer. What do you serve here? Cerveza de los Barbaros. This looks like a green barbarian brew. It's the new recipe. You got me in new lost wages, Larry. It's really good. But those nitpicking health officials don't give a damn about the taste. Anyway, I added some salt and lemon and some grated lizard for the color. You have to adapt to local customs. One cerveza de los barbaros, please. Uh, coming right up. Let me guess. You want me to put it on your tab again? Ah, uh, I must have forgotten to change money. Well... I had to move to Cancom a little hastily myself and forgot your tab. Let's start a new one. Here you go. Thanks. See you later, Lefty. Lefto. One thing's for sure, I'm not gonna drink that. Where's Becky when you need her? Now it's in the syringe. I hope the beer doesn't etch its way through. You want me to take that? Just like that? With my bare hands? Of course I will. It's all green and hard. Hopefully that won't be cooked here. A perfect fertilizer. That worked better than I expected. The herbs all look different. I have no idea which ones I should pick. Yes, there are pictures of the herbs in here. Let's see. Ah, that should be coriander. I mean, who puts tomato in their guacamole? I wonder if it's dangerous to cut this thing open. I think I'll throw it in whole, just to be safe. A pinch of salt. A few dashes of lemon.
coriander, assuming I correctly identify the herb, that should be everything. According to the cookbook, all of the ingredients are now in the mixer. Now all I have to do is mix everything. Hopefully there weren't any leftovers in there from Lefty's newest beer creation. I'll put the guacamole in the bucket. Food! All you alpacas, fall in! The whole story hasn't reached its climax yet, but I'm gonna spurt anyway. Okay, that was pretty pungent, I'll admit. Let's see what happens. Woe is me. He fulfilled the prophecy. He is the man in white. If I'd known that, oh, forgive me. From now on, you shall be known as El Nari. Uh -huh. Now, eat this cactus. Sure, just hand it over. Here, take it. Hmm, kind of salty. Uh, I feel... Hmm, so these are sharpened senses. The cactus has given you new powers, Elari. You can now talk to the most wonderful beings on Earth. Hey, you want some? Yeah, I want some. Hey, spit in my mouth, you animal! Oh, yes, call me animal names. You camel! Oh, you gotta go getting all carried away again. How come you guys can talk? I think the gringo can understand us, compadre. Ay, Dios mio, what was in that guacamole? Cacapate, cacapate, the bottom, as a squeeze, as a Then, it's true. The gringo is a larry. We understand one another. Please allow us to introduce ourselves. We are... El Parker and El Ungulado! It is our sacred duty to show the Chosen One the way. A secret passage leads through a fireplace behind the wall at Los Leftos. To open it, you must activate a hidden age-old mechanism. A lever next to the fireplace. Go to the villa and fulfill your destiny. Did you get all that? Jump into the fire, turn to smoke, fly through the chimney. Got it. Close enough. It seems you possess the gift of wisdom. Thanks. They never. Easy. I could have figured that out myself. That must be the mechanism the alpacas were talking about. A secret passage. This must be BJ's villa. The alpacas said that I must fulfill my destiny. Faith, I'm coming. What's wrong, Pi? You've been so quiet lately. Yeah. Otherwise, people might think I have something to do with you. What the hell is this thing? Oh no! It probably bite my whole arm off! I learned my lesson about putting my fingers into every opening that comes along.
I could get into the villa through this window. Now that's a big thing. Let's see what happens. Wow! That thing took all the water out of the plant. Now it's really wilted. It's lighter than I expected. Slowly, slowly, not too close. Yeah, that should fit. It seems to have liked it. Now I've got it. I just have to... That was all more than a little strange, but... Now the window's open. Looks safe. What? How did I... Oh, who cares? Time to get moving. Faith, I'm coming. Wow. BJ spared no expense. Damn it. I can't get downstairs. This side of the stairs was just washed. And the other one freshly painted. What am I supposed to do now? Faith, I would like to apologize. Wait! Ah, she's not responding. There she is. Baby, wait! Why can't she hear me? I can't let BJ What about find BJ? You. Damn, she got away from me again. BJ must have threatened Faith or something. <gasps> Poor thing. He'll be in a lot of trouble if I get my hands on him. What do I do now? Hey, babe! Uh, wait a minute! I have to get to the secret room. didn't go back up. She must be down here somewhere. Sounds like there's something behind it. A hidden switch. There was a door behind it. It just opened. Behind it, everything's dark. Faith, I'm coming. Awake at last. Good. That was the last time you get in my way. The new Pi phone could have been my masterpiece. With it, I could have controlled everyone's brain waves, their thinking, their sex drives, their attitudes. And I could have made it look like Faith was actually behind it all. But thanks to you, everything has gone to hell. Faith, I've got enough timber points now. I'm gonna blow this whole place up. There won't be a shred of evidence left behind. And they'll blame this whole disaster on you. So you can count the seconds to your death, Larry. Well... At least we're alone now, Faith. Larry, you bloody... Faith! I think she fainted. I can't reach it like that. I have to deactivate it somehow. Maybe I could throw something and hit it. But what would that do? I could reach that, but 
What would I need handcuffs for? Should I tie myself up too? If it was closer to the cage... Unreachable from here. Beloved Faith? She's unconscious. I'll never get it open just like that. Maybe I can find something I can use to get the lock open. What the hell was that? The cactus gave you a vision. So all that wasn't real? No, it was all just in your head. You have now seen what can happen. Now you need the key. You mean the metaphoric of everything I just experienced? No, 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 no. The key. This one here. Okay. What's it for? It is the key to salvation. Then I'll take it with me. Coward. <laughs> okay. I'm back. Elray said I've seen what can happen. But not what must happen. This time, I'll stop BJ and save Faith. I have to get to the villa. Hmm, but this place looks different than it did before. What's wrong, Pi? You've been so quiet lately. This is all getting a little too confusing for me. There's water in it. Another big thing. I don't think so. That doesn't feel right. That loosen the dirt. Hmm. Good thing I know so much about physics. Or geology. <laughs> What was that about the boulders? That could work. Yes, now the window is open. Okay, very carefully now. That thing won't be getting out of there anytime soon. Time to get moving. Faith, I'm coming. This time, though, for real. Just like in the vision. But where's Faith? I have to get down to the secret room. Didn't I turn left? a secret switch. Now there's a statue of faith. I have to find that switch. There you are. I'm ready. I hope this doesn't end like last time. Faith, I'm coming. Ah! Ouch! Larry! Help! Ah, awake again? Good. That's the last time you get in my way. Everything was going so well. Nobody knew what a useless windbag BJ actually was. Hey! I could stay in the background, but that's all over now. 
Wait a minute. What? I know you're slow on the uptake. What are you doing? Why are you locking BJ up? Because he's totally incompetent. I've given him all kinds of things to occupy his time. He was allowed to choose the colors for the devices, the types of styrofoam for the packaging. He got to stick his face in front of every goddamn camera and act like the big boss of Prune, as long as he deflected them from me. A and I did! He caused chaos at Prune time and time again. The whole thing with the wrongly installed antenna and the Python before last. I only left him unattended for five minutes. Then he kept disappearing, and one morning we had to pick him up from some scruffy dive somewhere in New Lost Wages. And that's how he lost the prototype, and the whole disaster began. In other words, that's how you first came into our lives, unfortunately. But he's the boss. He's a puppet. Nothing more. So I hired BJ, a hackneyed actor. After all, there had to be a man at the top. Eventually, I began to enjoy pulling the strings from behind the scenes. But thanks to all this mess you've made, my company is on the rocks. And BJ's time has come. Aren't you supposed to have an evil plan to use the Pi phone as a surveillance device and to control everyone? Uh, what do you mean? We've been doing that for ages. Everyone sends us their data voluntarily, and the Pi phone sensors record everything. Everything I said? Believe me, I know more about you than I ever wanted to know. And it's going to take more than a little effort to forget you again. But don't worry. I'll manage. Won't you reconsider our date? Maybe. Yes? No. Enough! Like I said, what a weakling. How fitting that you two are going to rot here together. No one will ever find you here. BJ was a mistake. I should have replaced him before he got carried away. Hmm. Wouldn't that be a job for you? After all, you've proved that you have stamina. I'll take the job. You wish. No, Larry. This is where you're going to die. Ah, so that's what the key was for. Can't get it open. In the version I had earlier, BJ used that to trigger the self destruct mechanism. I hope it's the door opener now. Excellent. I just have to trust my instincts. Faith, I'm coming. Faith? Hmm. She's not here. Don't come any closer. I'll get us a nice bottle of wine. You're worse than BJ. So, uh, what about that job again? Don't make me throw you off. Deep down inside, you're a good person. How did you get out, anyway? I used a door opener. I mean, out of the... Hold on. What door opener? Some red button. The red button beside the door? That's not the door opener. I knew it was a stupid idea to put the button right next to the door. Faith! What have you done? You done, you idiot. You activated the self-destruct. <laughs> I'm sure you have liability insurance. The house belongs to BJ. 
Well then, Faith? Go left! That was close. Larry, in spite of everything, you still saved my life. You're too beautiful to be crushed. Oh, Larry, I think we should... Was the last I saw of her. Hmm. Sad story. But at least she's alive. I won't give up until I find her. She tried to kill you several times. Man, people sure have gotten sensitive in the 21st century. Hmm. And BJ was in the house when it exploded? Oops. <laughs> You're right. We'll probably never know. A beer. What? Now, what the hell? Three. How'd you get free? The cage broke on impact. What about you, Larry? What are you gonna do now? No idea. What about that beer? I don't know if that would be good for you right now. Anyone who can survive an explosion can handle your beer, Lefty. Okay, fine. Oh, new matches on timber. Just leave it, Larry. 